<laughs> hello, hello, chat. Welcome back. We could be finishing this one tonight after almost a month of playing through this game. Let's see, it came out on, what, the 29th? It's now the 22nd. Yeah, that is nearly a month. I was not expecting this to take so long to get through. I was thinking, oh man, I'll get through this game in like a week, week and a half tops. Look at me now. I am, I am shriveled and haggard. Eyes sunken, teeth falling out. Overcome by saturin, like your... I don't know, saturn emotions or the, your, your characterizations a lot of RPG will do that to a man it's not healthy don't think it will take over five hours to finish I'm not gonna hold my breath because this game is consistently like you know what what if the game were longer what if we had you play just a bit more let us in this timeline nonsense and finally slay Garland if only that were the, the easy way out Good evening, Dardigan. You're a sensual viewer here. You're, you're, okay. You, do you, are you literally calling yourself sensual? How do I know you're telling the truth? Prove it. I think Elden Ring finally got me in a I beat a Godric and an optional boss yesterday. Then I encountered the ants and it made my skin crawl. The ants are a weird enemy since they kind of stand out. So there's, there's just ants. There's big ass ants compared to everything else. You think there'd be something a bit more weirder about them, but they were a nice touch. If it came out on the 29th and you finish it on the 22nd, then it actually took negative one week to complete. Easy. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting about that whole leap year stuff. Hello, Dardigan and Chad. I finally cleaned my 360. Uh, your 360 after using it almost. Your entire no, I usually don't like to think about how dirty consoles get on the inside since most people, they ne most consoles never get cleaned since most people who buy them never want to take them apart. It might like hurt their uh, chance of getting a refund if they need or like sending it in. So I'm imagining most are uh, yeah, pretty nasty inside, especially if someone smokes around one. This is, this music is a little bit louder than I would like, so let me get into game because it's probably drowning me out. Might also be copyright claim claimable and need to be muted later. There we go, that'll do. Pulled out a stove and fridge yesterday and the back areas looked apocalyptic. I did that in a place I lived once. Someone had clearly spilled like oil or something behind the, behind the, the stove and had not bothered to clean it. So it had like hardened into like a, almost like an ice skating rink of like wretched oil underneath the stove when I moved in. It was not nice to look at or smell or even think about. <laughs> yeah, it's like the entirety of the back behind the ca the cabinet. I think they must have spilled like an entire pot of oil, cooking oil or something like years ago and they just left it back there to congeal. I, I, I was... Cross. Sometimes I think it should be legal to hunt down and exact punishment on former tenants of a place where you now live. People agree with me, right? <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, my first playthrough took you 95 hours. Platinum this game took you 125. I'm probably going to be hitting like over 115 hours tonight. So, and that's on normal. Uh, it is a bit loud. The game is. Wait, what about now? Or is this section too loud as well? Can you hear me over the do 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 do? <laughs> I just open my PS5 every once in a while to clean the fans. I don't do anything else because I'm afraid I'll break it. Uh, well, let's see. That I'll be doing something similar to that soonish. I plan to like pretty much crack open my Dreamcast I was sent, and I'm gonna mod the hell out of it. So I'll be doing like really risky stuff, like soldering like a new circuit board onto the existing circuit board, and replacing like the CD player in it, the CD drive with like a GD EMU, and even the fan inside of it. Maybe even the power supply. So is this longer than Valhalla? Yes, I've been playing this longer than Valhalla. The difference is though, I like this game where I didn't like Valhalla. So Valhalla still felt longer. What are you playing after this? I don't know. I'll be taking a few days off because this isn't like my fifth day streaming. I've been streaming a lot this month, all right? I did two seven uh, day streams, two seven, like a full week stream twice in a row. 
where I streamed seven days and without stopping, and those were all five-hour streams. And plus the stuff I was streaming off I mean, I was playing offline until I get more work done on it. And, oh, that's Sephiroth's theme. Hmm. Weird they're playing that now. And, uh, this has been like a five days this week, so I kind of want to take a couple days away from streaming to, like, focus on writing. Then come back with something else. Just found out that Can't Stop Won't Stop side quest is bugged and I can't complete it until I do something convoluted with my save file in the physical version of the game. Which quest is the Can't Stop Won't Stop quest? Uh, don't know if you read my message from yesterday, but be careful with the Dreamcast. I almost killed myself with mine when I was a kid. Since I'm an idiot, I opened it while I was plugged in. Having 230 volts going, well, I, I do know not to make sure it's plugged in. I think I'll be safe on that one. Uh, I will I will endeavor to make sure, yeah, there is nowhere near, plug nowhere nearby. Uh, you're enjoying Dragon Dogma 2 on PS5? You've not encountered anything bad so far? Uh, supposedly it, it runs real bad. And it only runs at 30 frames per second, and weird ass, yo, explosive microtransactions. Hey, you want a new character? Pay up. You want to fast travel? That'll be a fee. It's like how how horrible can we get with microtransactions at this point? I, I mean, I thought the whole like pay for new game plus was pretty rough, but now we're getting like new character or save file. That's extra. Fast travel in an open world game, extra. Chat, I, I am going to predict that eventually, like, many more common, like, features of games will be locked behind a paywall. You want, you want an FOV slider? It's extra. You want to be able to adjust your frames per second? Oh, pony up. <laughs> more and more will be diced off. Forced behind a paywall. Just enjoying what you're playing? I mean, apparently it's a good game when it's working. And if you don't, what parts you don't have to pay for. You're in so much goodwill. Yeah, it's Capcom... Capcom is like this. They'll go through a period where they're like just putting out banger after banger and people are like really enjoying their stuff. And then they like, oh, wow, look how much money we're making. What if we made more money? And then the dark times begin again. So I wouldn't be surprised if we're in for like a streak of really like rancid like Capcom decisions now. Now that we've had a few already. Uh, can't stop, won't stop is the Shinra employee, so the only the only one I didn't do. Well, I'm glad I didn't bother then. Uh, microtransactions would be more forgivable if the money went to the development team, and you had that certainly that it would. Uh, I mean, I'm certain I'm assuming some of it does, but I'm not sure. I guess it depends on the contract with the team. But even then, it's not really that. I, I personally would still rather have a game with no microtransactions. Or depending on the type of microtransactions. Usually stuff like alternate costumes, I'm like, I don't really care about. But it's when gameplay features get mixed into it, that's when it's like, uh, no. Not for any reason. Don't give a square any ideas. They have already had all these bad ideas before. This is the industry trying to like, figure out what they can get away with again. Hell, there are people who are still very ticked off that this game was split into three. Hello Joshua, thank you for the 85 month tier 1 sub. Just dropping this can't stay since I haven't reached this part. Have a good stream. Hey, I understand man. Uh, the VODs will be there for you when you want to watch it if you do want to watch it. And hopefully you'll have it finished before I release the video of it so you got time. But thank you for your sub. Like me, I won't buy this Final Fantasy game. I'm making a stand, are we? I didn't realize I had such brave gamers who watch my content. Brave people. Sorry about the DMs, about changing my name. I didn't mean to... No, you're good. Don't worry about it. Just enjoy the streams and you're, and you're cool. The way you make Capcom sound, they're intentionally being bad to lower the bar of expectations to simply gain cred or claim back. Well, I don't think it's that kind of... That, that's not the argument I'm making. I'm making the argument that Capcom will start making bad decisions for a couple of years and really and get and ruin the reputation then they'll correct and they'll start doing good again but then eventually the greed sets in again is like wait we could like start doing something and make us more money and then it's just a cycle you with them. young boys Valdez yeah like that <laughs> cycle of like bad decisions such as what that was just mentioning thank you for the bits by the way but uh, if you remember I used to literally like laugh 
in, in my early videos, whenever I was sending something from Capcom, I would the first sim would usually just be busting out laughing because at that time Capcom was just I was like, you are so pathetic as a company. Because <laughs> they'd just been screwing up again and again for like games I enjoyed. Like some of my games I I just was so disappointed had come from them over the past couple of years. And it really wasn't until Resident Evil 7 came out that I was like, alright, I guess I guess they're in my good graces again after that. And since then, they've been doing really good, but now we're beginning to see the old side of Capcom reservice. And so I'm not going to be surprised if, like, the next couple releases from them are exploitative as all hell. And your friend also took a part of Printer to clean, although I uh, did most of the cleaning before going over to their place. But damn, no clue how insulation got into the printer. Our best guess was mice. Yeah, that was probably... Actually, I think you're onto that one. I've seen mice put... For some reason drag insulation and everything. Unfortunately, <laughs> we don't know if we ripped a wire because I was able to turn the printer on and just got an error. Uh, we also couldn't figure out how to put it back together, so yeah, fun times. Uh, I always recommend if you're not sure what you're doing, or you're taking apart it. Be sure you take screenshots of it with your phone. Of every time you like remove a piece, so you can tell where everything goes afterward. Or just like if you need to, write it all down. Get a pad of paper out and like draw a square on it. Put the screws that go into one part there and write the label it. It'll help you out a lot. Uh, but when it comes to printers, I don't think I'd even bother. I never, I haven't used a printer in years, and they're actually pretty cheap to get. And let's be honest, you're only ever going to use it like a couple times before you forget about it. Unless you're an office worker. And then you'll still have to like pay just as much for an ink refill later on. At this point, Capcom is going to release Resident Evil 6 remake. Well, they got that, like I said, I'm go Resident Evil 5 was like the start of like a bad trend downward for them. So I'm beginning to think the Resident Evil 5 remake will once again be the start of like an even worse trend downward for them. It's like a curse game at this point. Uh, what level are you in DDT? Uh, DDT? Dragon's Dogma 2? Oh, okay, you're asking about. Resident Evil 6 remake, the new punch of boulder scene. Well, that's in 5 actually. Yeah, Resident Evil 6 has... Resident Evil 6 has its own insanity. There's a scene in Resident Evil 6 where you as... Leon and some girl agent are underground for some reason. There's like a giant underground cavern in like America. That doesn't make any sense. And there's like a mile long, a mile long water slide, underground water slide. That's right. That you slide down backwards while being chased by a mutant shark. And this is all while a town above you is being nuked. So they, they, they jump the shark literally and you'll slid down a water slide while jumping. <laughs> That's actually more cracked out than the boulder. Boulder, it makes perfectly fair sense compared to that. Resident Evil 6 was really fun to play with a buddy, but most of the fun came from that. I mean, yeah, if you wanted to play it as a co-op game, I'm sure it's not bad fun. But if you're like there for like the lore and characters, my god, is it like, this is like... They were on all the drugs when they were making it, and none of the good drugs. Like just black tar heroin, not you know, the nice you know, gentle shrooms you usually want your developers you know, taking. You've been drinking? Shame on you. Unless you've been doing it responsibly. New Alien movie looks dope. There's a new Alien movie? Only movie trailer I've seen recently is for Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I wonder if Dragon's Dogma 2 could have been different if it worked on PC. I mean, it'll eventually work, I am assuming. It'll get patched, but who knows. We'll see. I'm not going to be playing it until it gets patched, though. I'm already, like, RPG'd the hell out of my brain this month. I don't need another one. I want something a bit simpler. Listen, Dart, block me if I act stupid. You're No, you're fine, man. I, I, I You know, I that's actually something I'm proud of. I rarely block anyone. I have rarely even had to ban anyone. Usually about the only thing that gets banned by me are like bots coming in trying to sell viewers or something. Or like very, very obvious trolls. You saying you've been drinking is no problem whatsoever. Next game is Alone in the Dark. It might be. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to be playing that just yet. But I, it, odds are, probably that. I wouldn't mind like a horror game right now. Mm, but uh... I just now recalled that I haven't finished Like a Dragon. 
Infinite wealth. How, how far was I into that game, by the way, if anyone recalls? I think I was like over halfway, right? I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish that game. I, I really might end up dropping that one. You were getting closer? That's not good. After like a month of this, oh, it's going to be hard. It'd be so hard to go ba get back into that now. Don't drop it. I mean, I don't want to, but man, I don't know when I'll... I, don't know, I really don't want to go back into playing another RPG right after this. I've just spent hours doing it. Alone in the Dark had some bad reviews. I, it's Alone in the Dark. It always get, Those games always get bad reviews. There's never truly been a good Alone in the Dark game. Even the original that was like kicked off survival horror was not a good game. You would like to play at least a little bit of the original Alone in the Dark before you start streaming it? You mean like the one that came out on the Atari Jaguar? I don't know if I, I don't know if you how how easy is it for you to play that? Are you planning on getting Stellar Blade? Yes. <laughs> Mainly because it looks like a good action game, but I know everyone else just wants to talk about damn. God damn. Look at that. Look at that. That has been the conversation around that game since day one when it got announced. Like, yeah, damn. It's going to start a new trend. Ch chat. Video game characters can have ass again. Stellar Blade is the lady with the titties and the different zip codes. I'm pretty sure most people only notice the butt. You guys say Alone in the Dark, and I think Afraid of the Dark. Oh, you mean the Nickelodeon show. You know what? They could make that into a pretty decent like game as well. If I don't know who owns the rights to anymore, though. Rising Tides DLC looks good, too. Oh, you mean the FF16 DLC? I noticed that. Right, in, right on time for me to like launch DLC sins, too. Right now, uh, I've got I've already got the Resident Evil 8 Separate Ways DLC video banked, and I'll probably be doing the Final Fantasy VII Intergrade DLC after that. So I might round the third one DLC episode off with like the FF16's DLC before going into some other stuff. Love that show. Always oh, scared the crap out of me. I, uh, I I remember I used to watch it, but damn if I can remember any episode of it. Greetings from Moving Car. This man is brave. He's in a 60 mile per hour like death machine. Watching a stream and typing. I like how they've intertwined this uh, this theme into like the ancient theme. It's a good touch. They can make a Nickelodeon horror game with Dan Schneider. Was he the feet guy? Uh, that must be terrible to have that nickname, the feet guy. Eerie Indiana, scary. Oh, wow. Someone who's actually seen Eerie Indiana other than me. Holy shit, no straight. I, I used to love that show. I was like teeny, teeny, tiniest little child. But I remember the intro just got me hooked. I think it only ever got one season, though. But I actually still remember a lot of that. You may be the only other person I've ever seen online mention Erie, Indiana. Netflix, can you buy that or some other streaming show and like revive that series? Erie, Indiana is on YouTube for free. Yeah, well, I still doubt it's like going to be attracting much attention. It was kind of niche. I remember there being an episode where they had like haunted Tupperware. <laughs> That like brainwashes like the town wives into being like zombies or something. And there's one villain they defeated with taxes. Uh, you've heard of Arian. Uh, I'm looking where to watch besides Torrent. Mm, wonder if it will be revealed Dan Schneider didn't actually make the shows in the 90s and mid 2000s because he loved those shows. I mean, you can still love them. Just one season. Also, Spider Man is in it. Really? Tobey Maguire? Did you ever watch Young Indiana Jones Chronicles? I didn't, but I heard of it. I think I watched a TV movie once of Indiana Jones. It starts off with Harrison Ford and some Native American guy in a snowstorm. And then they go to like him telling stories about his childhood or something. 
I, it was kind of boring. Even for like a Nia Jones fan like myself, I was like, I don't want to watch this. It's not good. Uh, just, just put on the VHS of the like, Temple of Doom, please. Should so have done that screenshot thing, Fanculio. Uh, the need to print print some important paperwork, and well, my, my family had a printer. Just not sure if it works. The error I got was that the print head was obstructed. Mm. Yeah, the moving parts are always the ones you gotta be the most careful with. Uh, but I you know, so just gave up, and they're gonna watch a tutorial on YouTube. Yeah, maybe they can still save it. As long as you didn't lose any parts, you should be you know recoverable. I made a James Bond Jr. show for kids, way less sexual violence. You know, I, I, I've never seen it, but I also heard there's like a Sherlock Holmes sci-fi cartoon from the 90s. It's like Sherlock Holmes in the 22nd century or something. I don't think it was very good or lasted very long. But you know what? It's one of those ideas for some reason I bank in my head is like, yeah, there was mystery cartoons that no one ever saw. How is Dex? She died. And you brought up pay. Now she's good. He was actually pestering me for like pets like 10 minutes ago before I started the stream. But no, Dex is fine. Nothing bad to report there. I don't know, almost forgot to send out this announcement real quick. Things are looking good. Dex is such a good kitty. Uh, she has her moments. She, Dex is a very aggressive cat sometimes, especially towards my mom. Like my cat, Dex hates my mother. Like my Dex will like is like sadistic when it comes to my mom. Whenever she's over, like she'll act nice and friendly to like lure my mom in, just so she can like swipe at her and like try to like tear her up. Like, most people, she's like a coward and she'll just like hide from them, but when my mom comes over, she's like, I must kill this creature. It offends me. I don't understand it, because I actually got Dex from her. As a kitten. Maybe she just never forgave her for that. Like, you, you stuck me with this one. <laughs> now you shall pay. Uh, so you gave me a foul woman. Yeah, yeah, that's like, she's the only one she'll try to do that through. Getting to know you. Da, 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 da. Is that what you're saying? I'm rewinding a bit, what boob game? Uh, the only boob game I recall us talking about was Stellar Blade, which is that Korean action game. But it's more of an ass game than a boob game. Someone just mentioned boobs for some reason. Did you do all the fog of war on the ocean front? No one tell him. Let him yes, I did. Are you proud of me? Totally cleared all the fog off. For some reason, I just decided to do it like it. I cleared that fog off like it was the the buildup of like, uh, like, con condensation on your windshield in the morning. You know, you, when you were a kid, you always wipe it all off, just like that. One time you touched a boob. I'm proud of you. Maybe one day you'll get to touch two boobs at once. Explain? No, I did it. That's all you get. That's all you, that's all you need. I did it. <laughs> Thank you, Titus. Thank you, Titus. Thank you for the bits, too. Uh, hey, I know I have the worst 360 to take apart, and I have the incorrect 360 hard drive for the model on my 360. Also, missed a screw when reassembling your 360 after cleaning it, so yeah, that's fun. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful of all the tiny pieces. Thankfully, the Dreamcast project I got lined up is pretty simple, other than the soldering. Hi in chat, how is everyone doing tonight? Pretty good. Everyone seems like they're focused. Also, YouTube bros, I added a new emote tonight. Because you guys have been like just bashing through every like emote like requirement on YouTube, so I got a new slot. It is the Dart of Blind emote. So now when I miss something, you can point it out by throwing up that emote. <laughs> what games do you want to play on my Dreamcast? I've always heard like Power Stone is really good. And I also have, since I might end up doing uh, classic sin videos on the original Resident Evil 2 and 3, and also Dino Crisis, I might play those games on it as well. If, amongst a few others. 
So that's my current thinking. So I could play them on original hardware. Get the true feeling. Power Stone would be fun to watch. I think there's a Power Stone 1 and 2, isn't there? I also want to play Jet Set Radio Future and, you know, Jet Set Radio, since I always wanted to play those two games, because I missed out on them. I'm going to leave early, no hate. Hey, man, do what you got to do. No hate, no disappointment. Stream will be here if you decide to change your mind. Are their emotes different? No, they're the same emotes. I haven't had time to have, like, any other emotes made. So I'm just uploading my stock of emotes I already have built up. I actually expected Dardigan to be speaking more fluently the way he talks when sending games since you don't socialize much, but that's okay. Uh, Chad, I'm not fluent. Uh, well, I'm just a normal dude, as, a, as a, you know, you'll soon learn. So I will stutter, I will speak haltingly, I will speak quickly, slowly, retardedly, amongst all sorts of other ways of speaking. Uh, I, I, I dip my toes into all the fonts of, like, literary nonsense. <laughs> How, how's it? Is it living up to your expectations? No. Uh, but uh, good to see you in the chat. Hope you have fun. Uh, welcome. You'll get a view of what the real me, the real Dargan that the press doesn't want you to know about. But I don't think anyone except for like trained like English lit professors can speak you know, fluently all the time. Most people are just like, yeah, I'm normal. I ain't here to impress anyone. Now when I'm recording lines, then I put on you know, the Dargan voice like... <clears throat> do all the like prep work gotta clear the voice do some like vocal warm ups then like after uh, doing that for 10 minutes then I record my first line while drinking a delicious glass of red wine and having a plate of fine cheese next to me while a violin player serenades me gently from the next room only then can I speak fluently and by god is it beautiful uh, that's something an AI would say. I have been, people have accused me of being an AI before you realize. That's almost like hate speech to me. You realize what you have, what harm you've done to my psyche. I literally, people will come like, I bet you, this, this sounds like an AI. This doesn't sound like a real human. And like, but, but I am. I'm a real boy. Real boy with feelings that hurt all the time. Pain. I just like yelling out the statement, PAIN, every once in a while. Makes you feel human. Alright, so, chat, the goal tonight, other than you'll surviving, is to maybe finish this game, because I've been playing it for so long. We are almost through the Temple of the Ancients, I'm assuming this is like the end boss fight arena, that looks like a pretty good example of a boss fight arena to me. And then, the only thing I'm assuming that's left is the City of the Ancients, so, it seems doable. I might need to go over a bit, depending on how long that takes, but we'll see. We need a capture to prove it. A capture of what? <laughs> Chadley is Dardigan's literally me character, huh? Prove you're real, go pass a capture test on stream. How about I fuck your mom, alright? <laughs> How's that for a capture test? But yeah, there you go. There's the ultimate capture test. Is, he, is this person, this AI, can it sleep with my mother? If yes, then human. I apologize, that was uncouth. Uncouth and, un and rude. I'm sure your mom is a very lovely lady and hopefully was not in the room when I made that joke to hear that. Anyways, progress time, chat. Progress. We must, we must progress. I'm sure there's like a few more boss fights left. Uh, but no, I will, not, I will not be solving any captures on screen tonight. You'll have to wait to some other night. I'll, do, I'll dedicate an entire stream to solving captures. How about that? Uh, Steven Chosa, thank you for the $2 super chat. Will you face Gilgamesh? I would have to first fight all of those, like, juiced up summons. And I don't see myself getting to that tonight, if I'm being honest with you. Oh, I was looking the wrong way. Run. Oh, don't gotta tell me twice. Oof. 
the Dart AI is getting infected with Fox Nye virus. Wait, that just means I'm about to like turn into like the Colonel and just like scissors 61 gay sex and uh, you know, conspiracies. You know, gay sex and conspiracies is a good way of describing the entire Metal Gear franchise. Someone ever asks you to explain Metal Gear to them, just like, uh, gay sex and conspiracies. You don't need to just do the whole nano machines meme for the rest of your life when it comes to Metal Gear. You can come up with the better jokes. Gay sex and conspiracies. Yeah. It works. Thank you for the 100 bits, by the way. I cannot get my audio to a place that I feel comfortable with. This music is just too soaringly loud. Can you guys hear me properly over this? Do I need to turn games audio down? I can, like, lower the music if need be. Lale Lule Lo. Yo, I'm pretty sure Lale Lule Lo just means gay sex. And he's the dart. I was swallowing some drink when you said that. I take no responsibility for you, like, ruining your monitor by doing a spray of food and liquid from your mouth all over it. That is actually a, that is like a mark of gratitude. Let it remain there. It's like, you know what? That was the time that I just made a mess because I, I guffled. That's what we call a guffall in the business. Gay sex and conspiracy sounds like a lovely We're going weekend. As fast as we can. Okay, it's good. Hostiles! It's avalanche! How come we can never talk this out or just play cards? Oh shit, I didn't realize I was nearly dead. Didn't realize. I know, right? Proven to be pretty tough. You okay? Ow, 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 ow. How do you see out of a helmet like that, by the way? There are literally no eye holes. It's not death. It's a homecoming. cloud. So cold. Hey kids, sorry we're late. Better late than never. Still owe you both for Sector 7. <laughs> Could say the same for you. It's a shame we'll have to settle up later. But why would you blow up the bomb directly behind you? Guess we'll just have to pick this up next time. Oh, so dumb. Get back here. Let's walk in past the bomb we just said. Because we know it won't collapse until we're ready. Damn it! What? Did we suddenly turn into Chrono Trigger?
Okay, this was not several hours earlier. This was like a few oh, minutes ago. <laughs> Did it work? screwed up and don't beat yourself up first time and all that just gotta keep at it starting right now we'll get through this Aerith together <laughs> yeah yeah you're hmm. right can't give up now how many times does cloud dread to actively kill her who Tifa just the once But that was when he's under the influence of Sephiroth. And when you say it like that, it kind of does make Sephiroth sound like the name of like a medication that messes with your head. Ask your doctor if Sephiroth is right for you. Symptoms may include pale skin, uh, violent impulses, in, you know, impulses to travel to another continent. I can't speak uh, quick enough to also think of these, by the way. What is your RPG class in real life? I would be a uh, bard. Obviously. What else can I be? There ain't no uh, paladin in my blood, I'm afraid. Uh, we're good on everything. Mm, okay, well, this is the Aerith control section. I just realized that for some reason. Uh, do I need to switch anyone's materia around? No, I think we're good. Sephiroth is actually a schizophrenia medication. I'm not joking. Really? I, uh, you, you, seriously, they named it Sephiroth? Or is it always being called Sephiroth? Chad, do you want to know what I used to call Sephiroth when I was a kid because I couldn't pronounce his name correctly? For some reason, when I first started playing the game, I had it in my head that his name was Sepultra because I heard some friend of mine saying his name was Sepultra. And that sounded like a cool villain name to me. Oh shit, it's Sepultra. He's got a big sword. It's only later when I looked at the spelling, I was like, wait a minute, there's no L in there. I don't know, drink it, Yuffie, find out. That's how you discover, anyways. What's happening? Hide your wife and your dragons because Dargan is back in town. Why specifically dragons? You know what? Screw that. Why the wives? They like me. They make me cookies. meter. Well, I gotta fill the meter up. I need more knowledge. Aerith can stabilize the tumultuous terrain by gathering fragments of the life stream, floating around the temple and channeling that energy into vessels of life. The more energy you collect, the more blessings Aerith will receive at the start of combat. Power up phase, huh? Settle down, Yuffie. She can't. She literally is like Genkai's 16-year-old. Her entire thing is like she must be ex exaggerated and overexpressive. So Bart, the old Bart again. Oh, we're coming up with the new names, are we? 
What's my instrument? I played trumpet back in high school or middle school. I didn't enjoy it. Once you have accumulated enough energy, target a vessel of life with right stick, then rotate L stick to wave your staff and channel the life stream into the vessel, thus stabilizing the temple's terrain. Mm -hmm. So wiggle the sticks. It's like I'm channeling actual magic chant. I'm a wizard. A wizard is never without his staff. And that's a Nintendo Wii moment. <laughs> this is what you would have been done if this had been a Nintendo Wii game. What up, Trix Rabbit? I'm pretty good. Also, another terrible cereal. Then again, there's really only like one or two good cereals out there. One of them being Cinnamon Toast Crunch, the other being Cheerios. I will accept no argument on this topic, by the way. It is you know, one of those, it's settled. Hold near floating fragments of the life stream to absorb the energy. Note that you can only absorb energy emitted by crystals and beings located near vessels of life. Give me that life stream juice. <laughs> Captain Crunch Barry. Captain Crunch is the worst because it's like eating glass plus rocks. How do you eat your top of your mouth gets torn open? Food should not physically harm you, alright? That's a sign of bad food. Does this cause pain? Yes, that it ain't that it does not spark joy. I think I'm collecting souls. Oh, that's, that's the cute how she has like a pure red dodge. The hills are alive to the sound of music. Very, uh, yo. What, what was the name of that old school movie that I just, that I just sung the song of? Sound of music was that just it? I just know it's like the famous scene of like the lady dancing on a mountaintop and spinning around. I don't want to get over there because there's more souls to collect, but I can't. I guess you can't collect them all. Gotta save some for the late for someone else. What was that movie? I don't know. I never actually saw it. Let's suck them up here. Nope. Alright, moving on. Left is a monster for charges. Oh, okay. I, I see. I can do both of these. Alright, let's do this real quick. Okay. 
Maybe I can only do one over here. Yeah, I need more life stream. Why is the fabric of reality falling apart? We're inside the temple of the ancients, and uh, it just lets us how it is now. Uh, so there's gonna be some more juice somewhere that I'm missing. Like I tried getting up there, but no go. Oh wait, monster dude. Go give me juice. As Aerith absorbs the life stream, she will begin combat with the following beneficial status effects. Faith, Faith, Regan, Faith, Regan, and Mono Wall. I'll show you what I can do. Hitting me. Yeah, just keep hitting me. You'll be sorry afterward. God, it's so hard to use Red 13 properly. I would never have guessed that Red 13 is just like like a pain slut and he always and he has to like get beat up before he can fight properly. He's like, yeah, hit me. Hit me harder. Uh so let's try this one first. strong and give you haste he can but like i said the build up is meter first i don't know it gets a little tiresome it's got to sit there and like take hits for a while while, <clears throat> while blocking uh have enough for you That, this is literally just a you know, like Reparo spell, isn't it? Reparo. You don't think anything bad'll happen to them, do you? So long as Cloud can keep it together. Tifa's just gotta crack the whip a little. Tell him to snap out of it. Don't give the fan artist ideas, Yuvi. Hmm, Tifa and whips, you say? Never thought of that one before. I think there's just items over here, so let's go grab them. Ever play the PS2 game Order of the Phoenix? The only ever Harry Potter game I've ever played is the most recent one. I almost said Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Do I even like Harry Potter? I'm not a huge fan, no. I respect it, but I'm not, like, super into it. To me, it's like, hey, you got kids reading. That's always what I was like. Yeah, that's pretty cool. But it was never like... Why did I... You go around this way?
Yeah, I'm guessing you have to build something else to get to this chest because I can't get to it from where I'm at. Can't read this, reach the second chest. That's what I had concluded. It's my conclusions as well, scholarly friend. She don't need no whips. Tifa, well, she can beat the shit out of you without them, that's for sure. And she, you know what? She's already, like, th threatened to, like, crush them. To one... To, you know... <laughs> Some people are into that. <clears throat> hmm. This is a weapon. Ting the Gambatine. Superior staff made by the Cetra to help them protect the planet. Noble sacrifice. Sacrifice yourself to evolve fallen allies. Restore their HP and remove detrimental status effects. Cause two AT litter. Wow. Kill yourself is the move. Activate one. Okay, but all right. It's pretty dark. And not at all possibly a hint. Uh, pre prevents incapacity. Yeah, that's pretty good on her. Power up. ATB charge rate up. She needs that so badly. <laughs> subtle game, real subtle. It's also her ultimate weapon for this game. What's over here? One that thinks ATB Ward is like the most useless ward she has, along with Lustrous Shield. I never can get them to be useful at all. Or lasers barely touch the other wards. Uh, the chrono, the chrono ward is pretty good for when enemies, because if you're controlling them, when you're controlling the character, you always get aggro. So usually that, the radiant ward plus the chrono ward for like when they get close to stop them from moving, so you can get away, is a pretty good combo. Arcane ward, that's the one where you can't double cast, right? I use that when the enemy is weak to magic, yeah. But the Lustrous Ward that puts a little tiny shield up in front of you, I can't really make it work. And the ward that makes you, like, supposedly have faster ATB, never seems to make ATB faster. Or at least noticeably so. Okay, we can't go down that way. Aerith, Aerith is actually very... They, they did a major rework on her abilities, so... I liked her in the previous game too, but they, uh, this one, she uh, she definitely, that Radiant Ward alone was like a big step up for her. Thank you. 
Irgendwo noch. Okay, äh. So, that one will take me to an item. That one will probably take me to another item. I can even activate them right now. Nope, not enough. Gonna need a bit more of that planet power. Five dollars super chat from Super Tramp. Take care, man. You have a good night. If that's the last time I'm seeing you tonight. Thanks for being here. Alright. This one maybe? Is this tempo eco-friendly? Well, it's powered by the live stream instead of Mako, so I'm assuming so. Why do you have power tripping mods in my tags? Because it's hilarious. Because tags are pointless to begin with on Twitch. So why not make them into a joke? So none of my tags actually matter. I'm surprised you asked about that when there I also have the words Gyat Skibbity Rizzler in my tags on Twitch. Turn me into a cute frog. Frog souls don't give you very much, I'm noticing. Frog is surprisingly powerful. It's one of those moves that it can really screw you over if they get you with it. Depending on what they're usually the frogs are paired up with, though. Who do you guys think is more Skibbity, Corneo, Reno, or Dio? Honestly, of those three, Dio. Dio feel like he's not only a good person with a good person winning personality, he clearly cares about physical fitness, even if he is on a little bit too many of roids. Taking a few too many roids. But he doesn't let it affect his character. What does Skibbity mean? My friend. You have to, like, find a wise man on top of a mountaintop somewhere to answer that question, not an internet streamer. That's like asking profound questions about the nature of life and reality. You, you get to go on, like, a multi-year quest if you want the answer. back my juice. Okay, I guess you can't recall the juice you've already filled up one full battery with.
one day science will discover what skibbity means. You can now turn a life stream into a new vegetable of life. Aerith about that spirit juice. Every this is just Baja Blast energy, alright? This is what it does for you. We've all had our suspicions. go downstairs first. Never heard that word anywhere else other- you've never heard skibbity before. You are one of the the chosen few then, because that, that has been everywhere for the past like year or two. It primarily began with a series of viral YouTube videos known as Skibbity Toilet, and only grew from there, the legend. Better off not knowing. Even knowing doesn't help you any. You're not like you're getting an answer. <laughs> Skibbity is like the G-Man. It's like, Skibbity, Dr. Freeman. Oh. Just imagine someone like Do the G-Man trying to explain Skibbity to you. There's a reason why I mentioned the G-Man, by the way. Because that's kind of where it began. At least you've all heard of the word Rizzler, though, right? You can absorb others to unlock other paths. You can absorb others. What, those batteries? I tried doing that earlier. Half-Life fans have become so rabid that they created new words just to comprehend. Technically, Half-Life fans didn't come up with the word skibbity. Uh, that was... Someone just took, like, G-Mod's character and, like, made a video with his head coming out of a toilet set to some so some songs called skibbity. That's pretty much it. It, had no it has nothing to do with Half-Life other than that. Oh, this is not good. Thank you, Yuvi. You actually prove your useless usefulness once again. I only ask you to do it for the preceding rest of the game. Okay, Aerith has got a lot of buffs going for her now. Orb of Steadfast Block Materia. Leapfrog does a fair bit of damage. I've never seen it do much damage. Like, the whole point of being the frog is that you're pretty helpless. Alright, we got one more enemy to kill. It's 
It's been a while since I saved you. <laughs> Loading death. Aerial creatures that dwell in the Temple of Ancients they forge a pact with the Cetra whereby they agreed to serve as stock defenders. Should have actually had a cess put on you for this. It's alright. I'll make do. before I can hit him with it. Uh, let's see, there are two hard fights in the saucer that are as frogs. The hardest fight I actually had in the saucer besides the boss fights during the, the battle you had to fight there with like Shinra President. Uh, there was one just put together fight that was a bunch of flamethrower guys and mutants that was I had to like wait until I got way more higher levels to beat. Because for some reason just the flamethrower dudes and the mutants were just kicking my butt. Kicking my butt. So much that I had to say it twice for effect. Okay, uh, I guess we'll check this place out next. I have to have enough, right? My thumb is getting really, really enjoying this section of the game. <laughs> really was a few hours ago. Look how long it's just taken. <laughs> I guess you get, maybe that's what maybe that is how they should describe it. You know what? They were just like dicking around with magic and shit for a couple hours. My cloud is off murdering dudes. fun fighting flying enemies in this game sometimes.
Your, your girl will like the practice of what, the thumb stuff? What if I said I'm already pretty good at this thumb, uh, thumb stuff? What's the strangest credits you've ever seen in a video game? You know, I've never really kept track of that, but I don't know. Nothing really comes to mind. Like most credits are don't really like even like stick in my memory. Alan Wake 2? Uh, I don't know. What was that? What's wrong with Alan Wake 2's credits? Near Automata? Maybe that, but that was more like, hey, do you like to want to delete your save data and make someone else happy? I mean, they made the credits basically part of the plot, is how that worked. So maybe that one, I guess, you get a point. Cetron armband. Mr. Bengal. Uh, grade three. Uh, an armband that embodies a vast knowledge of the ancients and confers supreme magical. It has no materia slots, though, so it's bad. Huh, these are kind of shit. <laughs> kind of crap. Metal Gear, so Metal Gear 2 was weird, a conspiracy? No, no, it was gay sex, a conspiracy. That we already decided on this earlier. Every Devil May Cry game has the Horde mode at the end. True, but the fact that every one of them has it means it's not as unique. All right, I guess we have enough souls for the next battery to fill up. Is this green souls? Yes. I'm gonna always answer any question anyone times. Is this 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 this? I'm sort of like yes. That feels like that's always the better answer to give someone. Why ruin their expectations? Question, how is Shinra supposed to be getting through this mess? They have, they, they don't mind the casualties, that's how. With, chat, if you're willing to accept enough casualties, you can solve any problem or get through any dungeon. It's true. It's only those pesky heroes that have to, like, do it the hard way. everything. Dark truth, then yep. It sounds right though, doesn't it?
we take a quick breather? Good idea. Can't go letting her girl wear herself out. <sighs> okay, but just for a bit. But you're right there, you can get out. <laughs> I think. Damn it. Dad, do you ever wonder how this ancient moving stonework manages to do this without any lubrication or oil? Like, stone doesn't grind past each other smoothly or easily. They always make it seem so easy in ancient technology. I'm getting tired of this like, have you ever tried to push a big flat rock well, across another big flat rock? Out. It ain't easy. Also, thank you for the 37 months, that guy. Uh oh. What? Oh, what now? They turn it into monsters somehow. Does it matter at this point? That has just been Something such a bad mood for ever since we came here. Allow me. Uh, Panthera, he's landing on it. Frog, then frog. Frogs. I like frogs too. I would, as a kid, I would like put them in my pocket, take them home with me, then like get bored with them. Like, you know, you can go out. You're, you're kind of gross. We're watching B stars, and it's so weird. I don't know how to feel about it. Is that the one where like? animals fight each other or do they have sex with each other? I'm not really sure. It's one or the other. Maybe both. You know, there's one thing I don't like about these games is just how stingy they are with the MP. You're always running out. Imps were better than frogs. Uh, were they? I didn't know we were raiding monsters at this point. Hmm. Man, I feel like I should have found a new intense. weapon for Barrett at this point. How did you see that, Tifa? That is literally not visible to us. There's like a building in the way. Shit, I should have just waited. I use items for nothing.
You will enjoy hard mode MP as well. I'm, I'm aware. You don't really have items that can recover MP. I think you can only recover it at benches, right? Not that I'm going to be playing hard mode. This game has already taken me over 100 hours to get through on normal. It's Chadley down. This is the one place I think we're safe from Chadley, all right? I don't think he can follow us down here. However, you better believe he's waiting for his topside. jinx yourself. I'm willing to wage money that Chadley cannot be down here. What would even be the reason? Bench is only restore HP. You mostly evade all fights except bosses. Oof. So how do you get MP back then? Is it only like through finding items in the game? Like those little like crates you break open that give you MP shards? I never actually played hard mode on the original game remake. You can do Gilgamesh at least. He is funny. Well, I, I had, like I said, to see Gilgamesh again, I need to fight those summons, the dual summon fights. There's four of those, and those are no joke. All this wind blowing around, Cloud's hair still barely moving, just like slightly to the side. What's up, sweet tooth? How you doing? You get you don't get MP back, only a very small amount while fighting. Oof. So you really gotta rely on like what chakra to heal yourself a lot of the times, or like you just use no magic whatsoever. Alright, so we push this off, make it safe for all of us. Doing good. How is everyone doing? You know what? It's been a pretty good, cool day for me. So get good and do it. What, do hard mode? Look, I'm gonna have to like make a video after I finish this game. You think I'm gonna have time to go and play hard mode? Given how long this took it, just taking me to get through on normal. <laughs> like there's just one of me, all right? Do you want another video this year? If so, then I have to get to work immediately. <laughs> Can't go play in hard mode when I don't even gain anything from it. That looks like a place where this comes to an end. Not down to breeze straight away. The double summon fights? Ah, uh, like I said, I have the plan to do leveling, but I don't know, maybe. Tame the battle cry. There you go, Barrett. You got your freaking laser cannon. <laughs> Turbulent spirits. It can only increase your ATB charge rate for a limited time. Can only be used once per battle. Mm -hmm. ATB 
charge raid up. Opening ATB bonus. Uh, it feels weird that you don't get more than like three slots for your weapons. Uh, extra abilities. Wait, what? What are you nunning over there? Oh, but thank you for the bits, by the way. Everybody, but uh. Uh, I think now only Red 13 and Yuffie and Kate Sith are the only one missing their ultimate weapon, if I'm not mistaken. He rarely uses any useful abilities. Hey, <laughs> hey. Like, what do you mean? I use, a, use cool abilities all the time. This, this feels like slander to me. Yeah, Red 13. Wait, did I, I must have missed a weapon at some point for Red 13. He's got two slots left. Yuffie still has her weapon to get. And obviously, Kate Sith, when we get him back. Mmm, delicious sprig of oregano. Hal Dargan has said that sometimes a high sin count can still mean a great game. And a low one just means it didn't do much or is boring. Exactly. Uh, so yeah, don't let sin count doesn't actually mean anything. There's games, there's games I've loved that have had high sin counts. Uh, it just means that the game, usually a high sin count can often mean a game was just had a lot more material in it. Or was trying to be uh, a lot of different things and experimenting and doing weird stuff, but maybe it was still fun. Oftentimes, some of the games with lowest sin counts have been the worst just because they've been boring and didn't do anything new. Just played it safe. Hitting them with powerful offensive abilities will pressure them. Sin count is everything, and I'm the one who gets to decide that. And I say it's, you know, it is a fun metric, is really all it is. Honestly, I don't even need the sin count. I'm basically just doing video essays at this point, anyways. Thanks for the update. Oh, no problem. Music and rebirth is next level with Chadley, would fuck off though. You know what? At least we get good material from Chadley. That's what he's there for. Uh, also said some videos, whether he's found the game he's sinning is mostly bad or boring. Top of the controls too, like King Hearts 3, it's not so like Metal Gear Solid 4. Uh, like, like one of the things, one of the things I say make, determines a good game the most for me more than anything else is pacing. One thing, I hate having my time wasted or feel like it's being wasted. So if a game has good pacing, I can generally like it. No matter even if it's a game that games play style I'm into or not. Hmm. I'm thinking we push this off here. Your biggest issue with this is the end of the cutscenes. To avoid spoilers, I'll say no more. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. We might be getting that tonight, so you won't even have to. We'll see it ourselves. But hey, the ending of the last game was pretty... Uh, some people had issues with that one, too. So it's not surprising this game has something of a controversial ending. In fact, I think they're wanting to court controversial controversy. Gets people talking, you know? Do I like the remake? Do I like remake? Yes, I actually really enjoyed remake. We could try using that. you two. Wait, they're not gonna help? This is perfectly made for a team effort here.
You don't like the puzzles here? I feel like my time. I have, I will admit a lot of the puzzles they make for the, like, the characters, individual, like, moments where you play as one of the other characters for a bit, have sometimes felt like it's just there to, like, blow through some time. Because they've just been a little too slow-paced. Yeah, destroy the past. Destroy the historical relics. Good God, Tifa. Oh, Iron Giant. The hell? I say we put this big asshole to work. Interesting. Uh, iron giants created by the Setra with both constructive and combative capabilities in mind. So long as a steady supply of life stream energy is available, they will always stand back up when knocked down. After a certain amount of time, they will use sharpen and become pressured. If not staggered soon afterward, they will unleash a powerful attack. Staggering the ironclad will allow you to destroy the pillar. Hmm. You want a Zack Gungaga moment given the soundtrack and environment? Uh, I'm good. We already had the Gungaga moment in the, rem the remaster of his game. Right. They'll use sharpen and then you may become pressured, so attack them when they're using sharpen. So I should probably save my ATBs for that moment. And they're weak against Lord. Oof. The biggest oof. The 9999 nine, 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 oof. Forgot they could do that, chat. Provoke on Barrett. Who's 
dead. Okay, Baron's dead. That's who's dead. Oh, okay. This feels like it's going well. Deal with that. Says I getting blown up. I actually don't want to attack him, I need him to let you sharpen so I can pressure him some more. Otherwise he'll just get back up, won't he? Darn, I was struggling with this boss. Uh, what, what made you struggle with it? The mechanic or just like getting it damaged? Okay, push this off here. I can do that. So how did these troopers get across? I guess the bridge broke after they went. He said like Shinra at the moment. Does he? I thought he still like said on the plane. He, didn't, he wasn't a big fan. I mean, he still technically is going to like hopefully like... In the original game, he was excited because Shinra was coming to Rocket Town. He thought they were going to like reactivate the space program, but they really just wanted his plane. Which didn't really make a lot of sense because Shinra already has an Air Force. Why would they want the tiny Bronco? Don't know about you, but I'll take it. But then he gets disappointed after that. He's like, oh, they screwed him over. Yeah, it, was always, it always felt like, why would the Shinra want the tiny Bronco plane when they have the high wind? Getting staggered on easy and uh, being stupid. You know what? I have had plenty of my own stupid moments in this game. Don't feel too bad about it. game's toad. It's not happening. A better reason for him to join the party than if he had in the game. Yeah, yeah we'll have to wait until like, the next game and see what happens with Sid. Same with ben. I'm not sure when they'll have Vincent join the party, honestly. He's the weirder one. I'm not, I can't think of a single good moment of like the events that are known in the next part of the, what remains of the game where you would have Vincent decide to finally join up. Where's Barrett at, by the way? <laughs> Barrett, you alright? This is the two of us here. Did we... Did we oh, okay. They just couldn't animate him going across it, I guess. Big guy, Chad. Takes a lot of poly. Barrett is so big, he maybe even affects the frame rate. Been watching content for years. Thanks for all you do, man. Hey, well, that means a lot to me, Dante. Or uh, Deontay? 
Randall, uh, big thanks to you, man, for watching me and supporting me for all these years. I hope to uh, many years to come, and I continue to live up to your expectations, my dude. Big ups. Big ups. That's how you say it, right? Big ups. Let me know. No, I, I love comments like that. Thank you. Because I always wonder, when am I going to, like, start sucking? <laughs> if I don't already suck. Is this the year when I suck? Statistically, it has to happen one day. This is the, this is the year of shock. <laughs> Let us hope it's still a ways off. Also, uh, Deontay, thank you for the 499 super chat. Big thanks again. That, that you may not realize it, but that $5 super chat you just gave me is worth more than like a thousand views you would ever watch across my entire channel. Because that's about how many like views you'd have to watch to like equal that. Big ups, you'll stay for the fall off. Well, let's like I said, let's hope uh, I can keep up your your quality for you know at least a few wow. more years. But uh, you also might be interested to know I'm doing a I'm starting a Patreon this year where I'm gonna be releasing like classic sins and DLC sin videos. People have been asking me for that stuff for a while. It's so, like you know what, not a bad idea. Pain to mist gaga po giga potion. Guard, you don't suck, you blow, nibble, and chew. I just use my mandible for everything, don't I? I don't deny it. Peter, I think you're doing better than people like Cinema Sins wins. Those guys have been going downhill for years. Uh, I haven't watched either of them in for a long time, not because I dislike them, but because I didn't want to be influenced by them. And I think that was the right call to make. Because whatever they're doing, apparently people keep, like, bitching about them over it. <laughs> but, uh, I think part of it, it might be because they refused, they, like, land on one particular way of doing it, and they just gotta reuse the same jokes over and over again. I did that at the start, too. I would have a lot of the same jokes that would get repeated over and over again, whenever there's, like, a similar moment. But I kind of got tired of that. So I only have, like, a... Like, I used to have, like, a couple, like, uh, uh, what was it? Fuck this boss fight, fuck this boss fight in particular, the jump scare, star wipe, uh, technically the boob technology one, that I would just, like, reuse it. I think that would, that'll hurt you after a while. So, I, you know what, I started, like, shifting away from that and just doing more at, making it more like an essay that I just played the ding sound effect in. That's probably helped me a bit. But I've actually never seen Cinema Wins. I've never. I don't really like watch. I, I'm friends with Gaming Wins, but I've actually never watched any of his content either. Like the whole idea of like watching a win video doesn't really interest me. I don't learn anything from it. Whereas I always try to like show you like take the rose tinted glasses off your eyes and show you things you might have missed when you played through a game you enjoyed or a game you hated. Ow! 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 Don't stop your kamehameha. Speaking of the jump scare star wipe, I thought about that while playing the new Alone in the Dark. A lot of jump scares in that game. Those are classics. What are classics? Uh, they make crappy sins for jokes, but what happens when those sins are legit criticisms? Do we treat them as jokes? They format as all over the place. Uh, yeah, there is like, you have to find the right balance of like, including actual information and also jokes in it. But usually it's best to combine the two, make the criticism real but also make it yo know, humorous is what i found like you shouldn't really just send something just so you can make a joke out of it if it's not really a sin you should take whatever it actually is a sin and make it a joke 
Speaking of the jump scare Star Wars, okay, I'm reading the same thing again. Classic Dardigan jokes, all, all my old jokes that I haven't used any of those in quite a while. Some of them I don't use specifically because they, the YouTube algorithm doesn't like swearing. So the whole fuck this boss fight, fuck this boss fight in particular, I had to drop that one. And even putting censored breasts in your video, like when you have like boobs but you cover them up, can get your video demonetized, as I learned when I did Last of Us 2. Good times. Some of the Sins channels, they turned into opinions rather than objective arguments. That is something I will say I also try to stay as extremely objective. If I think something, if I'm, well, if I think something's getting in, well, uh, well, I just, if I think something is like, I'm reaching a bit too far, I'll usually like lead with that. Like this may be a reach. So at the very least you feel, you know, it's more of my opinion than an actual effect. Or at least I think I do. Maybe I'm wrong. But I try to like, eh, I'm probably tuning my own horn a bit too much tonight. Let me stop before I embarrass myself. You know what? I'm just going to continue assuming I suck. That's the safe way to go. Haven't heard the boob physics in one forever. Mainly that's because most games don't include breasts. There haven't been too many boobs in AAA games for a while. I also think I'm helped by my tone of voice. It, 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 my tone of voice really disarms people and gets them to have less of an emotional reaction, I feel. Because it isn't, it, I feel like, this feels like a librarian le reading like a book to you. <laughs> Rather than someone like making a declarative statement. It's like, you know what, I can accept this opinion from him. He doesn't sound emotional. DEA money forbids boobs. It's just that, you know, they want to make sure their game is not rated M. Because they have the same mentality that Hollywood does about rated R movies. That if your game is rated for something that parents can't buy for their kids, then that will hurt sales. So they just like, let's just like keep boobs and sex out of it. Got any Easter dinner plans? I don't really do anything for Easter. Like, that's only like if you're religious or like a kid to go Easter egg hunting, that Easter is a big deal. And I am neither a kid or religious. Take advantage of the Sunday extra eggs. I mean, I don't really want to eat like, like colored eggs. I'm sorry. Can't even like go down right now. Can you guys can hurry up your fight. Oh, yeah, I'm like, team up with the Turks. Saving his friend. He does have a crush on her, right? Hey, yep. You don't it's very subtle. Shut up. Not too shabby. Oh, I guess the crush is over.
You know what to do. Kick ass, take names. Hey, partner! I got you. Uh oh, the combo is back. <laughs> I got you now. Uh, offer to Reno. Uh, evading his counters or countering him with the powerful offensive abilities will pressure him. Interrupting his synergy attack strikes will also pressure him. Good fight so far, good fight. Strike is so good. Okay, maybe the DLC should be about the Turks if there's going to be one. Shit, this music is good, by the way. Signal increase your HP charge rate for a limited time. They're fucking doing JoJo stances at this point. Maximum, max, max Ungar. You'll hate to see it. Three bars of Ungar. Yeah. 
pressure in the minute to two strikes. I'm waiting. I gotta hurry this up or he's gonna bring Reno back to life. Getting like stun locked for infinity here. <laughs> Feel bad for the dude. Has Cloud ever smiled? Yes, a few times. Remember when these two were the comic relief enemies in like the movie Advent Children? What a glow up. You ready to settle up? Cause I've been waiting for this. You mean for this? Barrett is gonna punch. This is the Sector 7! They're kind of comic believer and make not really. They were they're actually way more serious villains. Just like they were in the original game. It's only like weirdly in the old so movie that they were like turned okay. into right pitiful right comic relief. We're lucky you didn't crush us. <laughs> the most expensive transition animation ever created. Like several hours prior. <laughs> Again? Huh. Well then, shall we? You sure? I'm beginning to think yeah. I'm not beating this tonight, chat. Can't keep Cloud and the others waiting. If we're still I figured I'd be done with the Temple of Ancients by this point. We kind of knew. Uh, I was hopeful, all right? I had reason to hope. So it's my turn? Hmm. My nose itches right now. Too much cocaine, possibly. <laughs> told you to lay off the coke look sometimes a man needs some coke in his life you can't tell me not to do it padding 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 a little bit you know there's definitely been padding in the game which is the, I, I feel like they didn't need to because i understood why they had to like add a lot of new sections and like make sections longer and then remake because they were re adapting midgar only this has been adapting like a much bigger chunk of the game so you could have you didn't really need to pad it quite as much
The soda or the drug, you decide. Let's be honest, I don't do drugs, by the way. Just so the new people know, I, I'm not into that. several hours inside of the Temple of Ancients, but two hours outside world. I mean, there's still the entire City of Ancients to go. It's like Temple of Ancients, then City of Ancients. I imagine the city is bigger than the temple. Because, you know, it's got the word city in it. Can't stay away from you all. We are a lovable group of... I almost said scallions, but that's not a word. Rap scallions. There we go. But welcome back, Super Tramp. Uh, still not enough points to buy to me. Scallions or onions. True, but that didn't really make any sense in referencing you guys. Do you consider yourself an onion? Me dart, me dart, I'm an onion. I'm like, what do I even say to that? Scamps, yeah, there we go, scamps. Subversion material. Hi, onion, you're all just a produce aisle, apparently. No more moo and like yo cow cult chat. You are all now like produce. It's a version material. Oh, a very cute game. I see what you did there. It just means you cast status effects on enemies. Which are pretty much useless most of the time. <laughs> Except for a very few small group of enemies. What happened? Complete blow saturation. Well, thank you for the hundred bits and then another hundred bits. Perfectly timed. My chat, my the soundboard on the Twitch side does have a lot of very good timing sometimes. All right, uh, let us kill the slime beans. So they want you to think Dart, but the materia is clearly the developers winking. Sure, I mean, hey, why not? But I, I just want to point out, as always, in general, status effects are pointless in most Final Fantasy RPGs when they're cast on enemies, most of them will be immune to them or it doesn't really have much benefit. There's only like a handful of enemies that let you ever do it to. And almost never bosses. Thank you for like knocking me on my ability. It takes me forever to build up ATB gauge with her, you know. Might need to do some like tanking with Red 13 here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Have you noticed the lazy animations where Aerith is about to sing at a GS? She looks over at Cloud and gives him a look, and when she finished, this is the same animation? I don't know. I, I've had nothing but praise for the animations in the game, honestly. I didn't. If there was one there, I didn't notice it. Oh, look at these frames. Yuffie, you're killing the frame rate, girl. You're killing the frame rate. Jesus. Uh, give haste. Let's give everyone haste. Holy crap, it casts stop on red 13 right as I cast haste on everyone. Here goes. Don't worry. Oh, you're immune to physical attacks right now. Nice save. And not in a good way. Uh, Suna. Use a gold needle. Well, I have like a spell on there that takes care of it as well. It's good. This is good. You can do it arm pump. You know what? Now that is how you properly motivate a streamer. Let's see, I need to use items, I don't want to use up MP right now. Get rid of these high potions, they're kind of pointless in battle now. Also, start a new recording, because I've been on this one for a while. I almost hit stop streaming. <laughs> they're right below each other, you know, right next to each other. Warm Blanky and Kitty Snuggles. Mike has figured out the ultimate way, method of watching a stream. One of those chests here has the second best armor. Uh, I'm guessing Genji Gear is the best armor, but uh, I haven't seen a chest in a while. Oh, you mean that chest, possibly. Forward the theory that Aerith is secretly a like a Macross Gundam that fires out beam spam. Gilgamesh just sounds like he'd be a dorky dad. He's the dorky dad that likes to dress up in his samurai armor he bought off eBay. Chan, I gotta ask, are any of you those type of people who collect swords? You know, he gets to go like, oh, this is my katana I have hanging on my wall. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But it, it, there's, there's, it does seem like it takes a certain type of person. Also, thank you for the 100 bits, Polycarp. The Brisson Gaumen. 
Or like, I think all the final weapons are named after like Norwegian material, right? Or like weapons of legend. That would be for Red 13. Reaper Touch. Deliver a deadly strike. Potency is inversely proportional to current HP. Activate when HP is critically low. I must have missed a weapon for him somewhere. He's missing it's like a slot. Don't know where though. Usually if you miss a weapon, you can always buy it in a store later. Vengeance gauge, charge rate up, please. Enhance counter spin, attack power, altruistic power, and increases damage dealt by basic attacks by five percent. Uh, you are taking fencing? Oh, that's the fancy swords. Super touch is best move for him. Well. Yeah, but you have to have his HP very, very low. But like I said, his, his, his playstyle is meant for you to sit there and like tank damage to like use most of his abilities. Uh, let's get this other beam going. Sure, did you do the Run Wild mini game? That's usually the easiest one to miss. Run Wild. Uh, which one was that again? There's been so many, yet they're like, give me details. I've done almost every side quest in the game. The only side quest I didn't do was the one, the very final one, the gold saucer with the, the party guy. And I, I feel like I've probably done Run Wild. I, there's not a mini game in the game I've turned down in the game. Hmm. I even did the mini game where you pluck mushrooms. All right. Sorry, should have clarified. Run wild, the game you see red with gives. Oh, the, the all the, the Rocket League game. I did that a couple times, yeah. Uh, but I didn't get a weapon room, so that's where I missed it at. Thank you for clarifying. I think I did it the tw the two times it made you do it, for like once for like the main game and then once for a side quest. But I didn't do it to like win a prize. Are you gonna do the weapons if they include them in this game? I'm gonna assume that the weapons will no longer be optional fights in the next game. So yes. I've turned Yuffie into a bug zapper in this fight. Literally. I can like suck them in and like hit them with like an electric charge. You're gonna do the, but uh, I'm just like I said, I'm assuming Ruby and Emerald weapon and also Ultima weapon will no longer be optional fights in the upcoming game. Those are gonna be like big moments. They've cut the, one of the themes that they've done with these remakes so far is like optional stuff is no longer optional. Specifically like Yuffie and Vincent. Cetron armor. Didn't I get one of these already? Yeah. Okay. Citron armor. Three, three armor that embodies <coughs> ancients and unlocks the full potential of materia. Uh, magic defense. Plus six. Yeah, I'll take that. I can put more materia on her. Problem is, I don't really know what else I want to put on you. What else do I even need? She's got fire, comet, barrier, cleansing, cleansing, ice, magic up, healing, magnify, revival, wind, prayer, fire. Yeah, she's she's kind of fully stocked. I could put empowerment material on her.
Experience up. Increases experience earned by 100%. We couldn't make our level faster. You know what? Sure, why not? Where are we at in the game right now? We're in the Temple of Ancients. So, nearing the end. the FF14 theme because that was by far the best boss theme. I, I don't think it will. It'll likely have like a theme that's more fitting for Seth. However, speaking of like 14, I know the, the team that behind 14 released the DLC for a 16's trailer today for where you're going to be fighting Leviathan or at least going to a new land. So I'll be playing that, I think. Four years, we'll see. You know what? I'm gonna say this: the the third game of this will come out in 2027. That's my prediction. That seems appropriate. Uh, two of them this time, huh? Can you fall down? No, there's no falling off anything. If you like go to a ledge that you that you seem like you can fall off, they'll just like look over it. Every status effect on me. All this fight, these things suck. Stop that! Gonna be okay. Use everything I got just to unthaw people. Kirog at this point. I think I've never used this one before. I'll get a bunch of no juice. Plus Blitzball. 
Do you think Red 13 has the most anime like voice in the game? You left at the perfect time? No, you've come back at the perfect time. I think we're done. Chad, is my voice anime by any chance? I've never considered this before. I might be one particular type of anime character. Like the guy who pushes glasses up his nose, looks down at you. Red had a twink boy anime voice. I mean, it, it, I mean, he has a tw maybe Red Thirteen is a twink by his own people standards. All right, I need to get this chest over here. I don't think I can get it quite yet. Actually, I'm, I think I've screwed up where I'm supposed to be going. I'll get back over there somehow. They do the sea rock thing yet in this timeline? Sea rock? I don't even know what that is. They censored at least Yuffie in part two. Are you talking about how they made Yuffie finally button up her shorts? I always thought that was weird though. How did she keep them from falling off? What's up, Lucky? How you doing? <laughs> You're just in time. Look! Chased by a wall, a rock that's a weird C shape. I don't even really recall that. Hold on! We're coming! It's okay. We'll get to them. Just need to find the path. Hey, she cleaned up the bad weather. Hello everybody, what did I miss? We've been making our way through the Temple of Ancients. We fought Reno and his, uh, and Reno and Rude. And we've, we have been like, using Aerith's like mystic dance stuff to uh, correct everything. Uh, the same magic anime ability that keeps UV shorts up also keeps Cloud's hair soft yet shapely. That When they say the power of God and anime on their side, that is specifically what they mention. The ability to keep impossible hairstyles and clothing aloft. It's not actually like victory in combat or like impossible scenarios. It's impossible fashion is the power of anime. checks out. I mean, how else do you explain it? Alright, activate bug zapper mode. Red 13 works for you as after OG he becomes a nothing character. Do to me this work. Becomes a nothing character. He's the guy you see in the end credits. It's not a nothing character. That's an important character. 
You have Rude's haircut? You mean bald? An interesting way of calling it that. I had that hairstyle. You getting tired? You had a rough day. What are you... You know what? Just ch kick back and relax, man. Let me handle all the hard work right now. That being playing a video game. As, I, as I've learned from other streamers, streaming is a, like basically the same as mining coal in terms of difficulty. It's just, just, like, just strange, man. Like one of the toughest jobs you can do. Takes a special sort of caliber of person. Hmm. So out of shape and old, so I'm tired all the time. Well, actually, it's probably just the out of shape thing is making you tired. I don't actually need to fight these guys again. Like, just, you take care of one of those problems, and I guarantee you'll have more energy. Well, you can only take care of one of those problems, actually. Also, uh, Charmzy, thank you for the, you know, five gift subs. You shouldn't have. Uh, if you guys got yourself a gift, a gift membership, I should say, from Charmzy, send her some love. Give her a pat on the back. Tell her she smells nice. But in a not creepy way. I'm not sure how you actually tell someone they smell nice in a not creepy way, but I'll leave it to you guys to figure out how. It's like, there's, I mean, there's certain ways, like, you smell good. But that's, that, I don't know, that feels like that's just the creepy way. It's like, yeah, you, you know what? Don't ever do the sniffing smell. The, sni the sniff sn sound, that already throws it off. There's a science to this chat. You smell delicious. See, that already feels like it's in the creepy zone. Not like that. No, I was using that as an example of, like, what not to do. You don't ever want the sniff sound to come out. Like you're sniffing and like you're smelling them at that exact moment. <laughs> okay, I gotta get over there. You want to make it sound like it's something like they, like you're just stating a fact, like you read it off Wikipedia, like it's like it's common knowledge. Like, well, of course you do. The perfume has hints of spice wine. Now it just makes you sound like a wine snob. It's like, oh yes, the tannins of your your scent, faint faint gooseberry with like your hints of raspberry. French lilac perfume by Pacifica. Then marshmallow perfume. Marshmallows. Ah, a good, a good, a good choice. Marshmallows are a good smell, especially when melted. They should have been here by now. What's the holdup? I don't know, but time's wasting. Huh? Don't like our chances. What? No. I'm sure we'll be fine. Take none of my advice. Well, this is all joke advice. You realize. Don't. Come on. You chickens! <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> Sir, it's time we made a stand. Now we're talking! You saw the flags outside, didn't you? The promised land belongs to Shinra now. Oh, they planted a flag. It's Sorry, official. Sorry, ancient. You snooze, you lose. You can't colonize my pe her people. I thought there were six. Oh, dear. Did you three get lost? Three is still greater than two, you know. And? So what if it is? Between me and Sung, we got the strength of an army. Spare the ancient. I'll try.
This is actually the first time Singh has ever had a fight in the series I'm aware of. Spare us both the effort and- No! Hey! He's really going after Aerith though. It's a really hard fight to get anything going with Aerith because they won't lay off for a minute. Girl, can you can you give me a break? Like you guys are just picking on her at this point. Okay, sorry for not talking for a bit there, had to get situated. Elena, with me. Okay. In the next game, I think you'll end up fighting all four of them at once when you get back to Midgar. Oh, they attack with one shot. Is that how it's gonna be? Time to kill the frame rate, everyone. Chad, do you notice these two are just doing dynamic in three over and over again? <laughs>
Coming uh, activating a longer lasting, yeah, that's not very good. Yeah, I kind of messed them up hardcore there. Stay down, sir. Go on without me. Sit. You're not getting past me. It's a cute gun you got there. You even like diamond gym encrusted it. She bedazzled that gun, Chad. Okay, right back at ya. <laughs> We're lucky you didn't crush us. <laughs> you have a sparkly purple holder for my pepper spray? Hey, no one says you can't be dangerous and fashionable. Oh. Well, I've got the kill static going on. Actually, this makes way more sense, <laughs> even There's if it no seems heartless. For this, like you said, one of them's still ahead of us. Right. No time. I mean, these guys did destroy all of Sector Seven. They they kind of deserve it. Vincent. Death doesn't suit a Turk. I guess he left Sid outside. They, they got done with their conversations. So edgy. I mean, come on. That Vincent is just pure '90s edge, and that's why everyone likes him. Because you know what? '90s are now what is considered the last era of cool and you know fun times. It's when you could be like a goth vampire in an RPG, and no one would bat an eye. In fact, you'd be celebrated for it. Uh, I don't see anything worth putting on. You guys know something wrong with gaming these days? New games that are coming out just don't feel like they are doing well. I'm pretty sure in terms of actual sales, they're doing better than ever. It's just that sales expectations have gone up. Used to be if you sold a million copies of a game, that game was considered a massive success. For AAA games these days, a million copies is considered a failure. They need to sell several million. That's the difference. It's just that the game budgets have kept going up, so the sales expectations have gone up. So what used to be considered good numbers are no longer meeting the match. But that, we're also in like the era of like an like, there's never been a better time for like indie games and like indie and double A games. It's just a triple A gaming sphere that's like gone a little off the a little off the the deep end, I would say. <coughs> um, back, what did I miss? We just fought Alina and Sung. And Cloud almost went crazy and killed them, but he got hugged, and you know, as we all know, hugs psychologically heal you. <coughs> wow, I need my voice is going bad. Let me get a drink. Hmm. Uh, <clears> hmm. <throat> there we go. Recovered. I think why people are 
commentating about this game sales because SE wants God of War numbers. They're never going to have that because God of War is a first party game. Like a third party games usually don't get that level of support that first part, big first party games get. Plus a first party game sales, since it's a first party game, they're not paying the fee like... Like, Square Enix has to pay, like, a certain percentage of the money from every sale of this game to Sony, just releasing it on their console. Whereas a first-party game doesn't have to deal with that, because they're already owned by the company. And I, I, from my understanding, this game has done pretty well. Or at least, con all things considered. Okay. Are you excited for quadruple A games? Let's be honest, triple this whole rating system we use for gaming is completely stupid. Like it's just like are you ready for games that spend even more money on themselves? Is really all it is. That is all that differentiates the whole double A triple A thing. So the whole idea of quadruple A gaming is just like oh we spent it even more on just amount of money. I don't think the only game that's calling itself that is that stupid Ubisoft boat game, pirate ship game and that uh, that game was partially funded by the French government. Just keep in mind, tax money went into that. You have to head to bed. Western, have a good night, man. Thanks for being here. But the VOD will be there for you if you want to check out what happens next. Square Enix sets some strange expectations. They considered that Tomb Raider game that they released in 2014 to be a failure, even though it sold like 8 million copies or something. Square Enix is one of the worst for, like, expectations. They set them sky high, and then they get disappointed when they can't meet them. Built like a maze. Remnants of battle. It's not a temple. It's a fortress. To defend against what, though? Fiends? Worse. Humans. Oof. Humans feared and coveted the power of the ancients. And so they slaughtered them. Incorrect. Where'd you get your information, Sephiroth? Don't be Fake afraid. news. It's not death. It's a homecoming. You'll see him soon enough. version of Sephiroth is that that is the Sephiroth that it can appear apparently as any one of any of those uh people you know the clones of him Zung. you okay it's not me you should be worried about just, you just beat her up <laughs> This place, is it the promised land? I'm sorry, but I don't think it is. Of course, figures. Canonically, Sung survives this. Always did take my word for it. Hated you, you know. <laughs> this pedestal's a key. One only an ancient can use. What's up, Oski? How you doing, man? Where are you going? Got a report to make. He just like, you know what? He Aaron, wanted to make a scene. He just you. walks it off.
it say? O oh, warrior, weary though thou art, inward must thou now turn. Reflect on thy long and bloody path, and kindle life's fire anew. Forget not thine ire, for it shall remake thee. Ever think about using a yoga ball in my videos? I believe that has already been taken up by another YouTuber. <clears throat> Rolling out the red carpet for us? Sorta. We're each supposed to face some kind of trial. How did they know this exact number of people would come here, though? Get to sit this one out. <clears throat> oh, Yuffie doesn't. <laughs> or no. Well, no, no. I'll wait out here. Cloud doesn't have to do it. But make it quick. Well, no point delaying the inevitable. Right. See you on the other side. Don't go crazy on us now, Cloud. Good night. Hey, Amyo. You have a good night, man. All right. Starlink is pissing you off. You've been losing Dart Stream. Well, Starlink is not exactly a perfect network. It, it takes. They still are like building it, aren't they? It's gonna take a lot more satellites. So yeah, you'll lose. It's it's recept. It's a uh, connection can be spotty. But if that's the best option you got, you, I mean, what else are you gonna use? Usually you use Starlink if you're like living out in the middle of nowhere where no one else has a connection. Dart, uh, did you find out what happened to Wedge? I blasted off laughing. Yes, I did that side quest. He literally just falls to death, like you saw in the original game. It was, like, anticlimactic, because I felt like they didn't know what they wanted to do with Wedge at the end of Remake, so they just kind of, like, eluded that maybe the ghosts got to him after all. But then you do a side quest in this game and find out, yeah, they, they, they just killed him. So it, it was kind of like, oh, that was a waste. You should have just let him die back at the, the plate then. an area unique to each one, huh? Subject located! It can't be real. Over here. This is back when Red 13 was captured by Shinra. I think it is. Yellow paint wall, yep. This is Hold still. What? Easy now. That is a valuable specimen. It must be handled with the utmost. Oh. Hmm. 
you gotta do the QTE, it actually plays out the same regardless. No idea why they added actual pointless QTEs. Eh, it's alright. It, it makes it feels like you're engaged, basically. This is a vision, this is like a trial, so yeah, it's not really happening. Sin and DLC Sin, oh yeah, no, I have not launched the Patreon yet. That will not happen until I have this vi the video for this game ready, because I'll also be launching uh, this video like a day or two early for people who like signed up for the Patreon as well. So you'll get this video early plus an uncensored version of it, and you'll get the Sin and Classic Sin videos as well, all at the same time. So I give you maximum content on day one. That's a good boy. Make sure he's strapped down tight. Look at such a fine red coat. A rare specimen for my lucky 13th test. That's it. Henceforth, you shall be red 13. Shall we then? <laughs> Uncensored? Well, it'll just mean I can swear in it, basically. However, if I do send a game that has, like, you know, nudity in it, I don't have to, like, cover it up for a Patreon video. That is pointless. You have to, like, shave the hair before you can brand it, you know? You're, well, you're meant to hate Hojo. Everything they do is that cast Hojo is like this horrible, wretched person. Red 13 is enslaved name. Well, he still goes by it occasionally. Oh. It's like Hojo is the big bad. Technically, Hojo is the res the cause of everything going on in this game, as you find out. Every bad thing is basically because of Hojo. And then he turns into Frieza. <laughs> he does. Technically, yeah, his design in PS1 when you fight him. When he transforms, he sort of reminds me of like Frieza's final transformation. Cloud? <gasps> no! Cute Cloud, come back. Isn't Hojo Sephiroth's father, uh, technically, I think, that he, like, included his DNA, yeah, if I remember correctly. Wait! was his mother, yep. But uh, Genova was like the old uh, you know, stuff implanted into her, but Hojo was like the father, technically. It's it's screwed up, yeah, as it would be with Hojo. I guess what Yuffie's trial is going to be. It's going to be around Sonon.
missed you, eh? Good to have you back. Hopefully that game was good though. But Rise of Rowan and that is. Monsters. Sephiroth. Soldiers. Mako. Shinra. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this! Are we really going to see that weirdo with the underpants on his face? This is fine. Not scary at all. Troy Baker, no. I like the chat. I'm beginning to notice a trend. Like every time someone hears like what sounds like a southern drawl, the question is, is that Troy Baker? Is that Troy Baker voicing this character? It's just, it's just something I've been noticing more and more. Troy Baker is suspected of voicing all characters these days. Understandably. Boss, I don't think we'll be back here anytime soon. So make sure you're ready for everything, okay? Are they facing their fears? I guess so. Or like, I'm not really sure. It's one of those trial things where the, you get bombarded with memories, the sadness. Am I Troy Baker? Yes. I'm sorry to say. I should have revealed this sooner to all of you. a song on my trumpet. Troy Baker plays the guitar, you realize. That's guitar, not guitar. Boss. So not If you didn't play the DLC, you were like, who the hell is this? Who's this weirdo with the underpants on his face? If you won't come and claim him, I can always keep him from myself. <laughs> he made her sad. Yeah, don't make people cry. Also from Dirge of Cerberus. Yeah, but that game sucks. What's Barrett gonna be up to? Oh, dying, of course. <laughs> oh, my hand. What in the hell? 
Oh, do we get to see Barrett's wife for the first time ever, maybe? I don't think we ever saw her in the original game before she died. I don't know if these people are passing this these trials. They seem like they're all failing because they're all just getting you know, bombarded with sad memories. Uh, is there a game where Vincent goes Super Saiyan? That is not necessarily by itself a good thing, you realize. You need a bit more than someone going, you know, Chaos Super Saiyan. Barrett's getting positive reformation. Thanks for looking out, Barrett. How's the reactor looking? Facing trauma is the trial. I guess that's the idea. Everything's gotten so much easier thanks to that reactor. Don't work too hard, Barrett. Bet you're aching for a nice hot shower. I swear, I want measurements of Barrett's shoulder size. My God, dude. <laughs> what are these things you're packing? <laughs> Just Bird what is this size? This, this is like giga size. You got one good moment. Now you gotta feel sad again. Myrna. 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 Sad, Barrett. The illusion was kind of the idea was to get, give him that sense of like, oh, got my wife back and then take it away. So it's not good. Where are you, baby? Didn't lose his arm being shot on the scene. Well, they didn't. Really, they couldn't really show that. D Japan has the old censorship laws against showing decapitations. They showed as much as they got as violent with as they could, just by having like bullets hit his arm. But yeah, he obviously lost the arm during that event. been having a train run over him this game. Twice he's had to let out the big cry. <sighs> Breathe in the sadness gas. Poke deep of bad memories. <laughs> Oh, I think I can guess what this is. Your phone, though.
butterfly in the sky. What if... What if we went on an adventure? An adventure? Technically, we'll meet Aerith's dad in the third game. Well, technically we won't, because he's dead already as well. But you'll find out about him. Unless they've changed that, uh, that part of it. <coughs> Are those the drawings in the Shinra Tower? Yeah, her room in Shinra Tower was, like, drawn on. Anime Sorry, women sorry. look so good even when they're on their deathbed from like picture. your plot sickness. Just wait here, all right? I'm gonna find a doctor. Huh? Hello? Go on. Oh. We are now the lolly. Do you know a doctor? Small. Can you help me? Everyone ignores small children, apparently. My mom is sick. Do you know a doctor? Apparently everyone is an ass. Like a young girl, like my mom's dying over there. I don't care, whatever. Do you know a doctor? I guess it is the slums after all. Be more aggressive, all right? You gotta get in their way. My mom is sick. Bug someone else. Can you help me? Go off, kid. Kid, can't help you. Busy selling my soft drinks. This is one of those scenes where everyone is just an incredibly horrible asshole for like no good reason at the worst possible moment. Like who would tell that to a kid they just knocked over? Around here, 
I'm sorry, honey, but I don't know. I'm not from this part of town. Oh, okay. I could help you look, but... No, thank you. I have to go. I don't want to leave my mom alone too long. Your mother? Let us go enjoy, have more sad. I'm sorry, mommy. I tried. Oh, well, she didn't, she didn't follow us. For sad walk, it does affect the muscle. Because <laughs> sadness isn't good for the leg gains, all right. I really, really tried. Well, she ran into Dio. If only he could have like, well, who knows what that man could have been capable of. I guess even finding a doctor wouldn't have helped here, given her state. Mom! Aerith. Mommy has to return to the planet. What? Don't cry, sweetie. I'll always be with you. Always. Forever. But you can't go. You can't. What about our adventure? <sighs> Miss, do you need help? She's trying to hurry her at this moment. She has no reason to like rush her in this moment. And she doesn't know either of them are like kind of wanted by Shinra. Mommy. Like, get, get away from it. It'll, it'll rise from the dead. Like what? You didn't give her a minute. to take her somewhere safe yeah they didn't implicitly imply immediately before they get here because they didn't they didn't really hey, imply that she's I over don't. here Mom. going upstairs to hug your wife and kids oh damn man hell that affected quite a few people Mommy instincts communicated their agency. You know what? That actually is a kind of logical when you think about it. <coughs> now they all come back with crippling depression. You guys sad now? Yeah. <laughs> Poor little. They all exited the depression chamber.
But Cloud, it's your turn now. I think, maybe. I kind of wish Kate Sith was no. here so we would have seen what made Reeve sad. If you think about it, life and death are just two sides of the same coin. Our bodies may disappear when we die, but our spirits still live on. We return to the planet, rejoin the life stream, and in time give rise to new life. In time, yeah. I get it. I really do. Knowing that the people we love aren't really gone, it doesn't make it any easier to let them go. It still hurts. So we can't just think of it as a homecoming. Because it's not that simple. We have all experienced pain. We all have our regrets. What we've done What's been done to us? That's set in stone. The past is forever. But the future, even if it has been written, can be changed. It's true that the pain and the anger we carry can make us stronger. But at what cost? What toll does it take? I believe true strength doesn't come from any of that. True strength comes from our ability to forgive. To forge ahead in the hope of making things right. It comes from ourselves. So focus on the future, not the past. Do that, and not even Sephiroth will be able to stand in our way. Not even him. Are you finished? Wow, Cloud. Clock's ticking. Come on. Someone equip the asshole material to this dude. Yeah. <coughs> I know. Like you didn't get it, like he's upset. I didn't get an ultra sad moment, did I? Or or am I? Cloud read the room. It's alright, he's being affected by the Sephiroth mule vibe. Can't help it anymore. It's okay, he'll get better. Corridor of effigies, huh? This is a really cool design, by the way. At this point, that is Sephiroth's business card. Sephiroth is never going to stop ASMRing, isn't he? Never stop the ASMR. <laughs> Got to whisper directly into the boy's ear. Oh, so we get to like experience a destroyed reactor, huh?
I don't remember these people being inside the reactor. This is a lie. This place was abandoned except for like some Shinra guards. Oh. Machine. Well, he's alive in a different timeline. It's fine. Oh, I see. They brought back... What if we just had a shitty JPEG for our background? <laughs> and what if we made it even shittier? Like, wow, I thought we were past this game. I thought we, we realized people noticed this last time. I'm sorry, that has zero depth. And looks terrible. It's like all compressed all to hell. Th this is Cloud's trauma, like shitty JPEGs. It's like, oh, could barely look at it. Like, this seriously looks worse than some of the backgrounds in the OG game. What old man that's what you know that, that's what low poly city looks like right next to low poly mountain your friend died in your arms and you didn't shed a tear what is that sephiroth sorrow anger Regret. Guilt. Nothing but empty words to you. For you are but a puppet. My puppet. I'll kill you! Bad hugs. Fill your hollow heart with rage. Homoerotic. A little here. bit. Consume you. That you may burn your world to the ground. As I did. Like him. I'll never be like him. We know. It's okay. Come on. Right. Hmm. Really just waste this. To be honest, if you actually killed all the Sephiroth clones, I think it would stop Sephiroth's plan because then he wouldn't be able to enact it. Letting those guys run around is actually helping him. I gotta say, they have made the Temple of the Ancients massive compared to the original. I didn't know it was gonna be this long. I'm trying to. I, I'm gonna have to like look through a playthrough of the temp of OG FF7 to check out the Temple of Ancients to see just how much more they added to it. 
That's, well, this is more like what it originally was, which is just a bunch of stonework. <clears throat> but it just keeps it going. Hmm. Oh, big guy in there, huh? Literally, you're acting like a... <laughs> yeah, someone just needs to take Cloud aside. Like, bro, you're acting like a dick. Not cool. It's very different. I miss the dumb rock thing and the purple dudes. Uh, they probably, like, you know, thought that was too dumb to put in. I don't remember the rock thing myself, though. I think, but you said it's like a U-shaped rock. That, did you have to hide inside like the U-shaped thing and let it roll over you? Is that what it was? Maybe a memory just unlocked. Got to push laundry forward. Well, I'll be here. Never right, scanned all these things. The team is kind of just not addressing the issue with Cloud. Uh, I mean, can you really address any issue when someone is walking around with a sword bigger than themselves and is a super soldier? It don't make anything really awkward when you think about it. Especially when he's going, he's kind of like losing it. How do you have an intervention for a man who can literally jump over a building and cut you in half? The temple theme was so strange and whimsical that made it more somber and dull here. Uh, like I said, I, I don't really remember the OG uh, tune. I'm going to have to listen to it at some point. I really only remember the city, the Ancients tune. the Fuma Shuriken. Alright, purification A to be spent on other commands increases the amount of HP and MP absorbed can use while airborne shares gauge with banishment. Max level 3. Strike an enemy with a level 3 attack. The joint thinker. Basically all the moves she had in the DLZ. Let's see, Shuriken Mastery... Yeah. Charge rate up. And... Magic Timer 20. So, not address in a safe place, just let what happens happen. I, well, no one ever said they were being smart about it. <laughs> I mean, what are they supposed to do, honestly? From what they know of it, it's likely that he's, like, degrading at a cellular level. Hmm. 
nuts. <clears throat> Before I go in there, let me check it out of the room. Hmm. <clears throat> they could at least talk. I don't think Cloud would actually listen to them, if you noticed. He's kind of like brushing everyone off right now. He didn't even listen to Aerith's big speech about, like, you know, healing. You gotta remember, Cloud is incredibly messed up on a level most humans can't even comprehend. Like, he is broken mentally and physically in a way that you it's like you don't even know what's wrong with him. Looking enough damage will pressure hitting their eyes. The physical attacks will deal a large amount of damage. When their HP gets low, however, they cast Mana Shield. Yeah, yeah, Say goodbye. Final Fantasy is called Final Fantasy. Well, there's reasons for that name. Some of them true, some of them not so true, some of them we don't really know, but one. Bad things have happened to me. I'll show you what I can do. Oh, he got stopped, not stoned. Uh, supposedly the going this this thing uh, the original like telling reason they called it Final Fantasy is uh, because Squares Square Enix well, Square saw at the time was struggling financially. Their other games they'd made for the NES and whatever had not done particularly well, and they had enough money for one more game, so they decided to call it like their final crunch because they, if it failed, they would be out of business. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. That's just what I've always heard. Now. I've got this. Pretty much, yeah. I've only heard that. I, I've never heard that's definitive. That could be something people just like made up. So unless you have like an old timey Square Enix employee or executives you know, like talking about that the other time, we're like, oh, we put over all of our chips on this one here, Final Fantasy game. Might have just been because that was marketable. Jap J JRPGs are known for whimsical, English-sounding names, you know. Now that you are old... Whoa, hold up. What a way to start a sentence. Now that you're on death's door... Well, that's a, that's a far cry from the truth. All right, I'll ignore that first part of your statement. How are you able to sit for such prolonged periods of time without feeling like that your legs are going numb? I, I don't... I don't... I'm in good shape. I actually physically am perfectly fine. I don't know what... I, I, I'm a little at odds like, what? Is that what's going on with you? Because that's not my experience. I actually have incredibly good stamina. I, I work out pretty much every day. And I, I... Like the last time I got actually tired was a day I was also sick. And I went to a New Year's Eve party. And was standing up and like partying all night long. So I, I don't know. I, I, my legs do not get tired from sitting down. Uh, that's kind of odd for me. All right, we gotta get Tifa held up before we fight the turtle. But uh, yeah, if you're if you're feeling like I don't know, I feel like a lot of people just let their body go to crap, and I've. Since I, like, been a teenager, I've been focused on trying to take care of myself and not let my, like, body just go to mush. Usually if you do that, you'll, you'll, you'll make it out pretty well. You're an everyday, uh, what is it, what is it, hold on, uh, I was reading a comment, but then it, like, the chat moved really fast. Sounds like someone is testing the moderation policy now, we're good. Old man Dari hates being called old, it just seemed like that was an accusatory thing. Look, to me, you're not old until you're like 65 these days. I guess my view of it is different from everyone else's. 
Uh, let's see. True heal is mine. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, okay, I just lost whatever that comment was. Us millennials getting old. Everyone's getting older. What are you talking about? <laughs> just like, oh, just this one generation. Uh, moss grown adamantoys. Large herbivore creatures with lifespans so long they are said to be have coexisted with Acetra. Though docile in nature, they do not take kindly to any who would disturb the peace of the temple. Putting their elemental weakness or hitting their blind spot with powerful offensive abilities will count during counter will pressure them. While pressure, they will be unable to unleash their long range homing strikes. Crap, this thing is kicking my butt. So it's my turn? I got it. Try again. Uh, let's do a relentless rush. Just tuning in, had a busy day. What did I miss? We're still in the Temple of Ancients right now, actually. We've had a bunch of fights, and we're like, you know, we had like the, the sad gas pumped into us. We experienced sad memories and all that stuff. We all grew as people. Use fire rock on this thing. Right now we're still trying to like get to the black material. Sentence on it. We can make turtle soup. Uh, let's see. Uh, they do curse. I like to say, hey, I didn't hear that. You talking about students? It feels like something you say to a student when you're like, you know what? I say that word all the time myself. I can't really hold them to that stand. Uh, this way? 
We have the black material yet? We're trying. We haven't found it yet. They've, they've buried it deep within this place. stream for geriatrics or something. I don't know. Chad has gotten in a weird direction on YouTube all of a sudden. Here I'm out. Here I am living out my best days, feeling better than ever, and all you all are falling apart over there. Got all these grandpas in my chat. It's all right. It's all right. We'll get through it. Just thinking about all those retirement cruises you got lined up. You're gonna go. You're gonna go. Good luck. Hey, PJ. Thank you for your, uh, being here tonight, man. Thanks for the support. You normal again yet, Cloud? <clears throat> Do you need more, like, history lessons? <laughs> Must consult the ancient gods? Well, the Cetra. But yeah, I get ya. Hmm, so, history lessons. Gotcha. It looks like the... The humans finished off the Cetra? I thought it would have been, like, Genova was how it originally went. <clears throat> like, they spent all their strength fighting Genova, and they just kind of died out. Your evil plotline begins. For the children of man, save us. For the children of man, envy us. Perhaps their enmity is defeated by our soulful adversary. None can say. Regardless, we have been forsaken by faith, abandoned to unquenchable anger and unbearable. 
Etc. Really good at IMAX. Well, hey, you didn't have to like do this. You know, I'm learning here. You don't need to summon like monsters to interrupt the lesson. Woman feels free to have fun and be herself. It's one of the main things that attracts me. Hey, positive outlook. What makes you feel old? Fetty Wap was popular nine years ago. That was my team. I don't even know what Fetty Wap is. And I was alive nine years ago. I guess we just we just traveled in different circles. Do you think the chance of you dating the ladies in their 20s is slipping? What kind of question is this? Is that what you worry about? I don't have an answer for you, my dude. It's not something that concerns me. What's my favorite game of all time? Probably Final Fantasy IX, but also maybe Deus Ex. But how do they know this? This was like current events. Genova meat tree because that's what she actually is. God, the soundtrack is picking up. They also named it Genova. I thought the you know the Shinra named it Genova. What's the story? We're learning a history lesson of the Cetra and Genova and you know humans and everything else. And we're getting that ha 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 music.
I bet this turtle really lowers the frame rate <laughs> at some times. I can't check it, but I have a feeling it does. There's a lot of stuff it's doing. I am just in the... This, this is not good wherever I am at. I didn't go anywhere. Guess it was too far away. Oh, she died in the middle of the attack, that's why. I beg you, build up ATB faster. I'll just use your limit break. Let's cast comment on it. Why not? Hey, you ready? Watch this. Eric's showing off the power of prey. Hallelujah, all men. I've actually, I don't think I've used prey more than like once or twice in the entire game. <laughs> dog I'm so let the silence continue who the hell is dart again are, are you being serious are you just like who is this dude or what or are you asking him? I'm not sure and you know what that's a very confusing question when you put it that way who am I really Hey, Pope of Derry, thank you for the 60 month sub as well, by the way. Hey, are you radicalized against the government, son? Not particularly. Should I be? I'll wait till, like, there's a better opportunity to be radicalized against the government. What are these questions? You know what? Chat's in an interesting mood this tonight. Let's let him have it. Sometimes weird is good, or at least very interesting at the, at the very least. I'm going to start a new recording because, you know what, I don't want to risk losing footage. 
chat is always weird. Uh, more often than not. More often than not. Also, YouTube bros, hit that like button if you don't mind me asking. Hit the like button, it helps, it really does. No, it's not an ask, it's a demand. And you must hit the like button. Do you support any criminal terrorist organ? Didn't you ask me this question already once today? Uh, I don't know. It, is Capcom considered one? Because they did some pretty criminal acts with that old Dragon's Dogma 2 game. Do you support any... I mean, how do you support a criminal organization, by the way, if you're not part of it? I think I got. I went the wrong way. I got turned around. I wonder why there wasn't green, like, the old information point. Oh wait a minute! This room. Oh, they're against the gee. Why not destroy it then? No one in the olden days ever thinks, what if we just destroyed this horrible stuff? shall reach into infinity. It shall encompass worlds unbound by fate, and histories unwritten. You'll have all the Final Fantasy VII games. What do you mean? My fragmented mother. These errant worlds. All shall be one again. The reunion. All made whole. Forever. There's no such thing as forever. Ah. But there will be. No. You're wrong. <laughs> Your day of reckoning is here. Yet, you need not be afraid. <laughs> yep, demon wall, right? This feels like the demon wall fight. This is but a homecoming. Get back here, damn it! Oh, this theme is sounding good. Final Guardian of the World Destroying Black Materia mercilessly crushes the hopes of any intruder misfortune enough to have reached its domain, delivering unto them an internal slumber. Draws a wall inward to narrow the field of battle, inflicting enough damage while it gathers strength to move will both interrupt and pressure it. It unleashes elementally respected attacks from its enormous hands while striking it with an opposing element will interrupt its assault. Okay, that's complete. So if it uses one element, strike it with the opposite on one of its hands. Hmm. Yeah. 
again. Please have damage while you gather strength. Aerith, you definitely need a ward up. The monk will be created or destroyed, or well, technically no energy can be created or destroyed. Up. Oh shit. That's new. I mean, it was supposed to do, but there's one behind me as well. Trap feels like it's really good here since it doesn't move. Stay dead. Oh shit. God, I'm panicking. Panicking. Uh. And Aerith's dead. Not good. By the way, did I save? I saved before the light. Die again. Yeah, she's dead. She's died again. All right, Aerith, you getting an elixir? Keep yourself. Oh, no, X explosion will be better for you. Same with Cloud, he get an explosion too. Might as well use them. Are these heals not going off? I don't know. People just seem to keep dying. Are we fighting Venom? Uh, two Venoms actually. Dolphin blur. I don't care if it's not even staggered. <laughs> the indie. Okay, that wasn't too bad. 
great boss fight though. <laughs> Still alive. No home coming for us today. <laughs> As if we were ever gonna lose, we're unstoppable. <sighs> okay, yeah, yeah, that's that's where the celebration. Cloud's still in edgy mode, though. He's doing his Sephiroth pose. This is what we call red flag mode, chat. I think they've changed it. In the original game, Kate Sith had to like sacrifice himself to roll well, his robot body to get the black materia. <laughs> oh, he's doing evil cackle. That's still gonna happen. Now where in the hell is he all to? And how the hell is he gonna reach me in time? That is like several hours of walking. Shortcut does it? He just that fast now, despite being the slowest member. Vincent, you 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 might want to start. What did you even come in here for, Vincent? How come everything started shaking? You got some serious like golem vibes going on now, Cloud. Find here in their rest. If the black materia is removed, the whole place comes down. Uh, Maybe they could have. to be here to do this. I wish I had me skip leg day. You Can't never skip leg day. So run, as if your legs depended on it. Why not have the bigger, stronger Moogle 
Hold it up. You know the one that's got more strength. Come on. Yoink. We gotta move. Hey, Cat. Appreciate it. <laughs> with you. Thank you. He was given a glimpse of the future and knew what he had to do to stop nitpicking. When was he given that glimpse of the future? And also, it's my job to nitpick. Still with us? Yeah. I'm good. Let's Why go. does he simulate pain and struggle if he's a robot? Another one of those good questions. Oh, this jingle. He does it to an OG. Yeah, but he's with the party the entire time in the OG. He doesn't just show up like that. You like randomly know he has to be there to save them. Cetera came about because the world from live stream as they were mentioned. <clears throat> well, this one was made, this material is made by the Gi. He's straining like he's physically there. It's kind of weird. have another robot body like you did originally. Minecraft build. What's up, Dex? What are you doing, Kitty? So in part three, he'll have new mechanics added on. I don't know, maybe. Two fifty pet the I am petting the kitty. Now that's not a sight you see every day, eh? But why did you make the big ordeal like that? It's the end of me. <laughs> This beautiful body's but one of many. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> All right, knock them off you. <laughs> so, y'all get what you were after? Uh, read the room, dude. Like, come on. Hey, 
almost gotten into you. Didn't you hear what Aerith said? That's mine. Fine. My Fair. precious. Oh. M maybe Barrett don't go doing that casually. Access to the true counterpart hidden between worlds. Give it back! Whoa! <sighs> At last, the time has come. Meanwhile, Hojo is over there gasping. Me. Whispers? No, Sephiroth. Favorite line, huh, Seppi? No one gonna try. Oh, that's an interesting. You try to like hold back. It's like, uh, uh. <laughs> nope. Gotta go this way. Ultimate drunk walk. It won't even let me turn the camera to see behind me. Remember when we were back on the beach? Good times, you know. Do they want to stop? Uh, no, they'll do it only when it gets right near him. That would be more dramatic. This is like pet play at this point. Let you have this. Hmm. If she won't give it to us, we must take it. 
Sephiroth is just like that toxic friend that's always telling you like dump your girlfriend if they won't let you hang out. It's like, dude, she won't let you do anything. I believe in the original game, Cloud was like hitting Aerith in this scene, so they've changed it quite a bit to make it more like this. You can trust me. Let's see if we can it together. I like you can trust me. <laughs> I like creepy Cloud a little bit. He was hitting her, yeah, for the black materia. The Earth. Whatever happens, I'm here for you. He nailed the waifu catch. Does not have a first aid kit on this helicopter or something? Fourteen. This is the final chapter, right? Some is in grave condition. <laughs> Perhaps I could help. No. The medical team will see to him. I wonder what kind of help I he was think thinking of. Material. Hmm. Tell me, Professor. How would you explain the phenomena we witnessed at the temple? It would be premature to draw any scientific conclusions. But one thing is abundantly clear. We at Shinra could stand to dream far bigger. I was wondering when we get to back the right, to the good boy. Shinra HQ, where Hojo should be, along with a cure for Cloud. To the left, Reactor 6, which will get blown up along with Biggs unless I stop him. Good night, Dar hey, Dungeons. You have a good night, man. Thanks for being here. 
I don't know if I'm able to beat the game tonight or not. There's probably a couple hours left, I had to guess. His hair was long. And gray. Of all the people. Sorry, one more question. You boss fights that <laughs> take forever, so yeah, definitely not beating it tonight. But definitely tomorrow, I think. Does Aerith, does she have feelings for Cloud? Yeah, she likes him. Oof. She does, huh? Can't say I saw that coming. <laughs> Cause you weren't there. <laughs> That's gonna be messing with his head, you know? Like, she's never even met Cloud. Who's with me in the war? We went a bit later. You're, you say a bit. It's probably like an hour or two more. So yeah, I definitely could beat it tonight if I wanted to stay up to like 2 or 3 a.m. probably. Uh, so he like, oh. Oh, that was neat. Hello. Oh, he. I know you're in here. Time's a wasting cloud. And it's not like we have much left. <laughs> Up and at him, soldier. Hmm? They've woken up inside this. Oh. How much do I like my kidneys? They're pretty nice. <laughs> Are we? <laughs> we could call it a homecoming. Or homeward bound, maybe? <laughs> Let's just call it a dream. My dream, to be precise. What the hell are you- Shh. Just play along for a bit, okay? Your floorboard's gonna creak. Let's take a walk, okay? Ah, one thing. You have to promise not to look up. Hmm? Because I'm pretty sure you won't like what you see. You know I'm gonna have to look now, right? <laughs> right. There I go, putting my foot in my mouth. When will I ever learn? Watch Chadley even be here in this dream. Oh, Cloud, I see you're in the dream world. Wonderful, we can work on some exquisite new materia together. Would you like to put on my VR goggles and try this latest combat can challenge? One? Can I, can I, can I? Please. <clears throat> Which one do you want? Whichever one you pick. Why are you acting so weird? Hmm. Well, you are. This isn't you. If you ask hmm? me, I'd probably say, uh, this piece? I don't know. Actually, I'm gonna let him choose. Everything is free. But remember, it's one per person. This is it. After much cajoling, Cloud is about to give his very first gift to Aerith. Only question is, which one will he choose? <laughs> the dog. <laughs> mm. 
<clears throat> we got break the gold bracelet and the pink. Also, uh, thank you for I got for the 45 months up. Pink hair clip, gold bracelet, or the stamp figurine. <laughs> I don't think she's thinking of the stamp figurine, guys. That's the surprise gift. They make you look on the way to the side for that one. Mm. No, no, I'm not gonna go to the dog. I have a feeling what this will, this, what this gift is gonna be about, anyways. It's going to be used to identify particular Aeriths. Somewhat, maybe. I don't know how she's going to carry around a little dog. All right, we'll go with the hair clip. That one. Ah, I'm so sorry. I meant everything but that one. <laughs> Tell you what, I've got something else I think you'll love. Come on, man. You know, that's actually pretty neat. I guess it didn't matter. Perfect, even. No matter what, it didn't matter what you choose. Are you kidding me? I'll miss these moments. Thank you both. <laughs> what? That was weird. Now, where to next? Since this is a dream, couldn't we meet, like, Jekt in here? Since that he was way. a dream, too? Come Whatever you'd like. Oh, but only one per person. Then you better choose wisely. Hmm. Osmo candy. We got stamps, champs, Osmo candy, or choco sticks. No, I'm gonna go with cos. Yeah, you know, oh, this looks like mint to me. If I'm gonna be honest. We'll go with the, you know, stamps champs. I'll take one of those. Then I'll have one of those. All right. Hmm. Though these aren't the only treats I've got, you know. How about... Well, why give me the option? My latest creation. Really? Let's try it. Sure. Go on, enjoy. <laughs> Figured I'd pull out all the stops for my last hurrah. Guess I pulled out one too many. We got ripped off again. No, it just needs a little sugar, maybe. Yeah, and take out whatever's making my tongue tingle. It sounds to me like I need to start over. You know what, she takes criticism if well. If only we all had more time, am I right? Pretty sure I only asked to meet with Professor Hojo. Not a whole platoon. Oh, this is looking. Whatever. This is kind of how you died. The recall. About to end anyway. Got nothing to lose and everything to gain. Well, he didn't have the motorcycle back then, so maybe that, it's a fair fight. So this is where you've been hiding, in a world that has accepted its fate. Hey, what's that? Uh, let's go see. Just as you must. <laughs> so 
sorry, folks. I've only got one shot left. Uh, we were next. We've been waiting for yeah. ages. We don't have any photos to get. This is a world without either. smartphones. No one would be waiting around for a photograph. Okay. Um. How about you all pose? Cutest looking couple gets their photo taken. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's showtime pose. Dance hold. You know what? I like the modeling. Okay, you two. Smile real big for oh, the crap, camera. Crap, it changed on me. Oh, there's more poses for each one of those? Oh, crap. Oh, well. Hold on, Biggs. I'm coming. Wait, I thought you went after Hojo. How many worlds are we dealing with right now? Mm, these are good. Uh, Rippled. Mmm, salty. What gives? Reactor busted? Seems it's all out of Mako. I'm still sucking away, but the only thing it's pulling up is dirt. Uh, meaning? That the life streams bone dry. Bomb one reactor, bomb them all. Planet's done either way. And so are we. Run! This is the other, yeah. This, so we got. Two different Zacks now, with like, you know, all raw well, choice made it through testing. Figures it'd fail for real. What am I still doing here? Why did I have to survive? Look at me. I'm useless. Can't even make a damn bomb. You're not useless. For a moment there, I thought my life might have some meaning, but... It doesn't mean shit. <sighs> Well, that's where you're wrong. Want to know why? Because you mean a lot to a lot of people. So come on, man. Thanks, but why are you here? Yeah, about that. Never mind. I know. Kind of obvious now I think about it world may be ending and all, but a bombing's still a bombing. That's part of it, too. But mostly, I was worried about you. That bleeding heart. It'll get you killed. I don't know. Do I an just... interactive stream where you make explicit chemicals? Take what? Action. I don't know what that is. Take charge. Take control. To know that I had a choice. That this path, this world, was one I chose. I wanted to take back my life. Hmm. Oh. Huh? Biggs? Buddy? Well, goddamn. <laughs> Charlie she get up Again you face the same fate. It's like you can't deny it. End of the road, huh? Fate's got one twisted sense of humor. And I'm always the punchline. But I'm sick of taking it shit! This is my life. I make the rules. See you never. You jumped into the live stream. Yeah. That always causes something to happen. Oh, did we not get the photograph? Let's go. <laughs> Lame. Hey, why'd you pass on us? Well, for starters, you don't look like you're on a date. More like at a funeral. Well, I don't think that's true at all. Just have fun while you can, huh? See ya. 
Can you actually get the photo taken there? Now then, where shall we go to next? Before that, talk to me. What's going on with this place? With you? And please don't play dumb. All right. I'll tell you when we get to our spot, okay? Where's that? You really have to ask. It's one of my most favorite places. Can I make it any more obvious? <laughs> you have to, with Cloud, yes, you do. <laughs> you you definitely have to spell it out for him a couple times. Preferably in a big sign. Cloud. Big. Johnny. Or Aerith. <sighs> How the hell am I supposed to choose? Sephiroth. You want a piece of me? No, not you. It was all you, wasn't it, Sephiroth? All right, chat. How many of you are going, huh? Well, right now. See you in the next game, I guess. This is it, right? Our spot? Bingo. That was easy. I told you it was obvious. Well, you'll have to give me a harder one next time. Oh? Next time? I mean, why not? Yeah. Why not? At least I know now. Where you and I stand, I mean. Thing is, Cloud, I really like you. But then, like can mean a lot of different things, can't it? Because there's liking, and then there's. Italicized liking. Seriously, what's going on? You've been weird all day. I'm sorry. Thank you. Sorry. I'll be okay. Here. Take it. But your mom gave that to you. 
This isn't about me, though. It's about saving the world. And you. So thank you, Cloud, for everything. What is this? Gives you a lot to think about, doesn't it? In that, like, what, what, how do you piece all that together kind of way? Confusing, isn't it, Cloud? <laughs> Multiverse. When the boundaries of fate are breached, new worlds are born. The planet encompasses a multitude of worlds, ever unfolding. Some quickly perish, while others endure. Yet even the most resilient worlds are doomed to fade. Nevertheless, their loss is not to be mourned. For it is not death, but a homecoming that awaits them. In the planet's embrace, all life is as one. All born are bound to her. Should this world be unmade, so too shall her children. He'd tell you that he only cares about the planet. That he'd do everything in his power to protect and preserve it. But this isn't the way it's supposed to be. Close there, Severoth. A little close. Oh, Cloud, I see you found your way into the Lifestream multiverse. We can make some excellent new materia here. This is a wonderful opportunity. <laughs> Oh, uh, just Chadley can come in and ruin any scene, can't he? Leave me out of it. Is that Sephiroth over there? I see. How wow. very stubborn of you. Perhaps you need a little push. give you my blessing.
It's like a fill out of the CG. Where am I? Hmm. That doesn't belong here. Very poor form. Notice why I don't have ATB gauges. Uh, 499 for Steven Choza. The multiverse thing is just an existence. Kill her off there and bring her back in game. I don't know. <laughs> Not sure at this point in time what they're doing with it. like the forest, right? That's before the City of Ancients. Also, thank you for the super chat, Steven. Forget about him for now. Just focus on yourself, okay? But I'm fine. Focus on you, Cloud. The one I've been trying to find. The real you. Huh? Leave Sephiroth to me. I can handle him. He's planning to use the Black Materia. But I won't let that happen. He has to be stopped by a Cetra. And I'm the last. Real question, can you actually just store stuff in your hair like that? Let me keep this gigantic, like, this size ball in my hair and it won't fall out. I appreciate it. But now, it belongs with you. Looks Stick it in your ass. Ghosties. Then a ribbon, but I don't know. I guess I guess if you'd like tied it up in a pouch inside with your hair, maybe. Good night, good night, you guys. Yeah. 
Where was the line? What line are we talking about? What's the white chonk? That's the Moogle that Kate Sith rides. I'll be going now. I'll be back when it's all over. Oh, yeah. But I thought you were done for. Sorry to disappoint. Well, you can thank me for the ride later. Gotta find Aerith first. She told us that an ancient city lies just beyond these woods, and that the Setra built a very special altar there. That's where she's headed, I'm sure of it. Problem is, Sephiroth stole the Black Materia. Meaning he could destroy the entire planet any minute. And... Aerith said she's the only one who can stop him. Where is this place? No one knows but her. We got separated in the fog, and... She's out there, all alone. Then we'd better hurry. That way. And how can you be so sure? Sometimes you just know. Hmm. Wow, that was a long cutscene. So, Cloud, I heard something from Aerith. She said Sephiroth kicked the ever-living crap out of you back in the Temple of the Ancients. You heard wrong. Didn't go down like that. Okay. Getting defensive, are we? Then how exactly did he get the materia from you? Uh, kind of just handed it to him. You don't always have oh, to Oh, she was covering for us. I see. All right. Fine. All right, that's kind of cute. He beat the shit out of me and took the materia. It's my fault. It's kind of mine too. I should have been there for you, but I wasn't. Gaslit. The de well, the game's making me making me walk. <laughs> oh, I can't even save right now. Here we go. That was a long cutscene. I gotta save. All right. Realistically, how much of the game is left? Couple hours. I'm gonna guess maybe three hours left. Another five hours, really? You want to finish tomorrow? Yeah, because I'd probably be up very late, and everyone else probably wants to go to bed too. Been told they're at 14. Yeah, we're on chapter 14 right now. <laughs> like two hours? See, I'm getting different answers here. Almost done. Hour and a half. Ten hours. Not ch Come on, Chad. <laughs> Don't do this. Three hours, uh, top. Uh, yeah, my guess is probably about three to four hours left, maybe, depending on how I go. One to five hours, you try if you first try the bosses. Uh, if it's short, that's all right. If as long as it's like two hours left, that'll be fine. That can be me a short stream tomorrow, because <coughs> it is late, and it just means I'll just do one more stream before you know taking a break from streaming for a bit, <coughs> because it is. Past midnight, you never know if my internet will even last. The internet might get you know shut off as they work on it. Also, thank you, forty-five months, Mayo McNasty. Your channel, Dart. You decide. You don't have illusion of choice. I know, but I, it's also just because normally I five hours is a lot. No, Gilgamesh fight too, maybe. Blood is how the fights go. So, so is it, well, I'm assuming there's like a full dungeon to go because you got the city of the ancients. That was like an entire ass dungeon in the original game, unless they've changed that. Don't want the internet to go out right as Aerith is about to get. Well, if that even happens. 
Uh, yeah, I imagine there'll be a lot of long cutscenes too, plus credits. So yeah, I think we'll we'll wait till tomorrow to finish it. Chat. That seems like the most, uh, the best option right now. We'll finish. Uh, yeah, we'll finish this tomorrow. That's my final decision. Calling it there. Tomorrow we finally put this one to bed. After like I'm, I'll probably hit 120 hours by the end of this playthrough. We're at 117 right now. Oh, uh, but chat, holy crap. You've all been amazing. Thank you for joining me. On the YouTube, guys, make sure you hit the like button, if you don't mind. Sorry to annoy you with that, but uh, it does help. Also, if you, anyone wants to follow or subscribe on either Twitch or YouTube, that's fine, too. You can also join my Discord. I got a Discord link down below. Thank you for any memberships, super chats, subscriptions, or bits. Thank you for your patronage. You guys are awesome. Thank you for joining me tonight. You've all been wonderful sharing your time with me, chatting with me, getting to know me. Sorry, I'm going to break into song like that lady in the game at, that, at this rate. Uh, I will be back tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern time to finish this game off. If you care to join me, I'd love to have you. Uh, you'll subscribe. To oh, well, thank you. Thank you for subscribing to me. So, yeah, we'll finish this game tomorrow. And then I can get to work making a video on it, which hopefully will not take as long as it took to play through it. <laughs> all right, chat, enjoy the rest of your night. You're all free now. I will see you all tomorrow for the finale. The true finale, I'm going to, have to change the title of this stream because I put the word finale in it, and that's embarrassing. I will see you all tomorrow. Thank you to the mods as well. But that's all I got. I am out of officially out of streamer juice. Streamer juice all drink. I'll have some more fresh juice for you tomorrow. I'm going to stop. All right, let me, let me get this in screen up. All right, chat, that's it for me. I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out, everyone.